So, uh, is my sound on? I already failed. Uh, <laughs> hello, everyone. Um, welcome to the stream. Hello, Rico. Thank you for the drink and the stretch. Yeah. And uh, and he's okay. He's, he's going. He's lurking. Okay. Uh, so I need to thank some people for what I wasn't here and that followed. I'm not used to streaming that late. Uh, fuck you! <laughs> I know you can hear me. Um, uh, the Dragon Floor has followed. Thank you very much for the follow. Deeply appreciated. Hope to see you in the chat so I can say it to you directly. The mighty Elosan. Thank you very much for the follow. And Goddess AI, thank you very much for the follow. I would really thank you in Irana's chat. But uh, thank you again. And uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. That's all the people we have to thank. And again, I want to thank. Um, well, Joe is going to join us <laughs> later. Uh, when he's back home and uh, Alelum for subscribing and Joe for the bits and then I'm going to um, welcome in the players it's weird because they shut up and they don't really have to <laughs> but whatever um, and here they are not doing it on purpose and now they heard you say it so now I'm innocent aha sweet I win mean, so now they can hear you by the way um, so yeah, so we're going to do a campaign of uh, Dark Heresy, hopefully. Uh, hopefully, I don't know why it's say hopefully. I don't know, maybe something hopefully. happens. I, I <laughs> yeah, hopefully. I'm, I'm like just going to change campaign in the middle. Yeah, I'm like fatalistic without any reason, you know. <laughs> it's like, it's so too funny, by the way. Oh. Um, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. So, yep. And I need to check on Raven's volume. No, she's just loud. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm just loud. <laughs> I don't know why. I don't know why they're so louder than me. What the fuck? The volume. Is that half my volume? Discord. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Is half my volume on, stre on stream. <laughs> what the fuck? Just Discord in Discord, really. I'm, uh, I'm. Okay, I'm going to boost myself a bit on my XLR. No, I'm 90 percent. Maybe I can be. <laughs> 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 Maybe. Okay, now I'm, I think. Talk a bit. Hello. I'm uh, louder than you now. So anyway. now I am, I am slightly louder. <laughs> slightly. slightly. Yes, and I'm 90% of my XLR. What the fuck? Louder. Louder. I'm just loud. I'm just loud. I can do that. <laughs> no, please. I, I'm wearing headphones. Okay. <laughs> um, so, yeah, and we're going to do this um by the way i'm saying it again um pretty much everyone that is not um uh, i think uh, verana karamalis who is that I remember it's you right um elizabeth that's no? me no, that's oh, you wait. okay verana, uh, verana, yeah, verana yeah. Karamalis. so good and uh Kipsi also has a graphic for his character please choose a add some because uh it's going to be really weird to have like NPC faces all, the, all over the place. Uh, you know, like the NPC meme, that's going to be that, but your character. So please find pictures. Uh, oh, yeah, I did. Yeah, you did, you did. Uh, it's, okay. it's everyone but you and Kipsy. <laughs> okay, I was confused because uh, I did. <laughs> no, you didn't. You see nothing. It's all a lie. My, my, my character's Wait, beautiful form is now on screen. Uh, by the way, I put in, in resources, I put like uh, portraits in 40k gallery. So you... Uh, okay, let me find something. Um, one of you is a tech priest. So just let me find it quickly. I'm just going to... I added one, I think. I don't see it. <laughs> That's a problem. How did I do that? <laughs> Uh, just okay. Uh, go to. Pa, pa, pa. You need to upload the picture to your gallery. Oh my God! Look, already so many pictures. Um, and then you need to uh, go on your character sheet. Uh, make, uh, uh, Joseph Miriam Engar the twenty fourth. And to uh, edit, when you go to edit, you can drop avatar and default token. Yep. And that's how there you do it. Weirdly. What? Yeah, I have one. Eh? I'll, put, I'll put a picture. What? The you selected token is not selectable for some reason. But uh, what is your what's the name of your character? Uh, Kateria Camarales. Uh, I don't see that. none. Ah, I'll upload it again. 
Yeah, because Wait, we this? in uh, edit in your in your character sheet, uh, there's a stuff mm -hmm. named edit. I see. Uh, I see. Yeah, and in edit, you can just drop a picture. Oh, wait, what did you say your character's name was? Uh, which? Oh my god! <laughs> I'm just seeing. I'm seeing the the birth of Katheria. It's Katheria. Yeah, Katheria. Yeah. I'm seeing I'm, I'm seeing the picture and I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> that, that's a nun indeed. That's a, that's Did you see it now? Yeah. Um, you need fine. to do both, I think. Oh, okay. And the other one is... <laughs> oh, you like that one, Raven. <laughs> like Avatar and Default. And Default. Pretty much put the same picture in both. In Avatar and Default token. Okay. Uh, and you should be uh, all good. Because uh, if not... Uh, you're not going to exist. You're going to be ghosts, and you cannot play with ghosts. It doesn't That's work. <laughs> and, if, and if you become ghosts, you have to go to the warp. So hope you don't become ghosts. <laughs> <laughs> it changes. It's and now, now it's good. Now it's good. Okay, good. News. Badass Perfect. picture, by the way. Um, and uh, Cranial, the character is Z, right? No, it's... Uh, it's good to you. UN. Yeah. Oh, now I see. What? Oh, when I click on it. Oh, weird. Uh, who is Z? I guess it's... Uh, uh, Z is me. Yeah. Uh, you need to add a picture to your character? I don't have anything handy right now. Okay, so let me find one for you. Okay. Because I already Let's did it pretty much the time. Uh, ba -ba -ba. Let's go to the portraits. Your Psyker. Uh, oh, there's not that many Psykers. In most I of them. Most of, oh, I may have one actually. Uh, Emperor of Mankind. Okay, that's, I, I thought it would say Psyker because he is a big boy Psyker. Um, big Psy power, big brain, many wrinkles. Uh, oh, graphy. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, uh, believe it's uh, one thirty a.m. Why are you awake? <laughs> because I'm playing with Americans and the time zones are weird. <laughs> and I don't have a choice. Hey, hey, hey. Canadian. Oh, yeah. Whatever. Canadian. American <laughs> subcontinent. <laughs> North American <gasps> subcontinent. <gasps> oh, 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 ouch. Soon, soon Canada will be in massive jail. Don't count. Massive and colonizable. <laughs> I'm French, everything is supposed to be the part. <laughs> no, I'm joking. We, we, yeah, I'm not going to talk about it too much. Because everyone is mighty upset about that, despite the fact that it's already done. Um, whatever. I should shut, I should shut up. Must be an American <laughs> thing. Um, I, sh I should shut up because I'm, I'm trying to do something else at the same time, so I'm not thinking about what I'm saying, which can be a bit of a problem. Uh, Incoming rant. No, I'm not renting yet. <laughs> yet, yet, exactly. That's Be what prepared. I mean. <laughs> uh, does that work for you, Ga uh, Catherine? Elizabeth? Elizabeth, whatever. Uh, Oof. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, oh my <laughs> god. Okay, I need to calm my tits now. What the fuck? <laughs> sure, that'll, that'll do. <laughs> even myself, I'm shocked by <laughs> that. Okay, I need to calm down. Because because I'm nervous. Like sassy. Yeah, I'm nervous. So <laughs> someone's on the defensive. It's not working. Um, yeah. Okay. I need to. <laughs> I need to chill. What the fuck? Okay. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I'm nervous. Yeah. I can. Yeah. Uh, nervous. Tired. Doesn't really work well. And uh, yeah, I'm awake because I can only find players in the. Uh, uh, what? I should really sleep now because my ass need to get up at seven four. Oh my fucking god! Yeah, go to go to sleep, uh, Giuliano. That's like what the fuck? Yes, that's less than five hours. No. Go to bed. No sleep alone. What, what is silence? <laughs> I don't, I don't want. I don't want my boy to be tired. <laughs> is it? Uh, -huh. uh. Okay, so. Right, so um, do you have the do you have the picture? Do you know how to update it or not? Uh, no, unfortunately, I. 
Okay. Wow, I can explain. Uh, I can pay something to a uh, wow guy. Okay. For once. <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> yeah, enjoy the, it. The, the, the dark heresy system I'm very familiar with, but roll 20, not so much. Uh, that was the next one I should, I should do because uh, I'll be tired no matter what. Thanks, deep sleep and sleep depth. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I, have, I have no place to tell you about sleep schedules. What is sleep again? Yeah, so uh, let me... Um, in your character sheet, you have... Uh, um, right on top on line with uh, your character name, you have show to players and edit. When you click on edit, you can have avatar and default token. Put the picture of your character in both and they should, your token and your character should show up properly. Sorry, just to confirm. So on characters, when I, d when I click on my character Z, yeah. some, I'm supposed to get options? Uh, edits. Edit. Edit. The Very Java popular. button edit in the purple, purple button. I see, thank in you. The, in the purple. And in there you have avatar and default token, so put the same picture in both and uh, we'll be... Uh, would be great. And people are raving like crazy in my chat and I don't know why. <laughs> Hello people. I, I, I like that you're excited. I am as well. Um just I try to not tabletop hype indeed. Uh been a while. Last time it was Lord of the Rings and it was absolute chaos. <laughs> Um, I made, I, I literally made a storyline on the top of my head that the two ghost guards of Numenor had a relationship together and there was Joe Thranduil and Joe <laughs> and Joe Sivron. They were like, Joe, I will save you, brother. Yes, they were just NPCs. Whatever. Um, so, and it's good. So normally only Joe uh, should join up. So now we can start. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my god. And I actually need to uh, select the proper stuff. Da, 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 da. I have too much stuff on my streaming stuff. Uh, drinkies. I will do the drinkies when... Uh, okay, stream two. Is it that one? No, I don't think it's that one, actually. Uh, I think, is it? Yeah, not too sure. Yeah, it's that one. So, good. Uh, normally on stream, you should see uh the um the uh, uh the battle map and the rolling stuff and my stuff so yeah that's going to be it for uh the setup because i'm lazy and uh, i actually have not found a better way to show you the map at the same time as playing the game so eh, psych uh so here is the music oh oh very nice very and nice. <laughs> yeah. Suddenly, 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 uh, people. Uh, what for? What? Ah, I forgot the meme. I failed that meme. Um, everybody gangsta until, until the the cryptic drops. <laughs> yeah. Um. So now we do the the drinkies and the stretching. Juliano, thank you. And good fuck to bed. <laughs> Um, so, as um, let's do a quick prologue, by the way, as a way to uh, to um, uh, yeah, fuck. Uh, what is no? My brain, my French brain is mixed up with my English brain. To present your characters. That's what I'm going to say. So tonight we actually have um, five lovely people. For yeah, five. Hey, Gipsy. Gipsy, yeah. what? You have poked out. You have poked out of. Uh, oh my god, um, that was the wrong crap. one. It's the wrong yeah, one. Did your internet die again? No, my uh, laptop uh, turns off if I don't oh, mess with uh, everything. Oh, Rocky thank you for the follow. Deep appreciation. Welcome to the Slav. Uh, Alright, do you guys see me now? Have I returned? Yes. yes. Like a phoenix, I rise. <laughs> 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 Okay, I know it's a good it's a good one because the other one would show any would actually show uh, any and all uh, windows that I had on my uh, on my uh, computer. So you know, kind of okay. <laughs> not a good idea. Uh, uh, it was it was showing our Discord. <laughs> not a good idea. <coughs> Oops. Oopsie. But now it's all because that's why I, at the beginning I was like, 
Wait, is it the good one or the bad one? I should really remove that one. <laughs> uh, because it's, it's pretty much like a dox machine. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, oh, uh, welcome uh, Ted the Slime, welcome Kish, uh, Kishnum, and welcome the Dragon Flora. Uh, Kishnum, Aura, hi. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, welcome, friends of uh, Elizabeth. Welcome to the Sla. Uh, Sla means actually horde in uh, Gaelic. It's actually the name for the wild hunt in Celtic folklore. Uh, because I have to nerd out about history at every occasion. It's, it's not an option. It's not a choice. And, um, and hello, the mighty... The mighty hey, the mighty hello -san. Hey. Uh, thank you for the follow, by the way. Uh, now I can say it uh, as... I mean, as face-to-face -face as possible. Uh, so, yeah. So... Time to do the streaming brain. Uh, no, not streaming brain. Uh, DM brain. As you have been all um, summoned, you could say, um, strongly enticed and completely voluntarily joined the Inquisition as acolytes, you, uh, you, um, let's let's go around pretty much because all of you have very different profiles of characters. So let's do you know, a run around of uh, your circumstances. Uh, both Raven and uh, Grizzy play both, yeah, each of them, I have too many, uh, play both Katheria Caramalis and Verena Caramalis are battle sisters. But one is a battle sister, the other is a sister hospitalier. So one is a medic nun, the other one is pretty much soldier nun, battle nun, if you want. Uh, by the way, uh, um, none does not in, does not mean celibacy. Just saying because it was something of detail. Let's go for it. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, because I know because none in the real world is not really supposed to go around. Um, and so, as sisters of battle, we would have been of members of the Adepta Sororitas which is pretty much the formal name for all of the sisters is the Ordo. Ordo is a... Oh my god, what do I need to burp now? Um, Ordo are pretty much the big institutions in the, um, in the Imperium. The military is the um, Ordo mi uh, Militarum. The, I think, Militarum? Is it Militarum? No, oh, it's Ordo Militarum and Ordo uh, Militarum, I think. One is, ad uh, one is, uh, is uh, there's pretty much one for administration, one for the military. Uh, the military is everything. It's pretty much the Navy, etc., etc. Uh, there is the Adeptus Mechanicus, which is pretty much all of the tech stuff. Like uh, manufacturers, fa uh, factories, everything like that. And then under the Ecclesiarchy, which is the church of the God Emperor, you have the... Um, uh, Adepta Sororitas, which is the name overall of all the sisters. Uh, like all of the different orders of sisters, like the Hospitalias, um, the, I believe the Rosius, uh, Crimson Rosius or something, all of them, all of the different kind of sisters, all are under the banner of the Adepta Sororitas. And um, actually, did you decide on a specific um, convent of order of sisters? Or oh, just whatever. <laughs> whatever works as well. <laughs> yeah, what? <whatever. laughs> uh, I'm not. No, I'm not going to like. I'm not going to be like. No, you to know all your lore. This is impossible. Uh, no, I'm not going to say that. Uh, it just, just in case, because uh, just in case, because some people are very into it, and others are not, because. Uh, um, just to be um, okay, just to be uh, entirely honest, some of them are newbies in Warhammer 40k, some of them are not. There shall be no judgment, no backsitting. They're learning. We have to be nice. And if you're not nice, you're getting the boot up your bass. <laughs> judgment, hey Joe. <laughs> um, and so, as sisters of battle, and since we um, ban me, no, I don't get to ban you, Joe. You, Move your ass over here! <laughs> You're supposed to play with us. Go, come here. <laughs> come over here. One of us. One, one of us. One of us. 
And so, um, as a member of the church, pretty much, uh, joining the Inquisition is a great honor. It's uh, pretty much an extension, mostly because it's also joining the Ordo Hereticus, which is the one that go after the heretics. Wow, it, it's in the name. So to you, it will be a pretty straightforward, you know, recruitment, pretty much. Um, you would see figures going uh, to the, um, what is the name, the uh, older member of the convent and the, of the Fortress Monastery of the, I believe it's a battle convent, but I'm not too sure. Um, and then they would pretty much recruit you directly, so to you it's a pre very straightforward event. And you would not have much opposition to it because it's literally one of the great honor that can happen to any sisters. Uh, it's more surprising for, um, for it's, it's more surprising for Catheria because often you know, in more militant orders like the Inquisition, battle sisters very expected, but sister hospitalias not always. But yeah. I mean, both of you have been friends for a long time since you were kids, right? The Scola Progenum. Uh, no, we're we're born twin sisters. Yes. Yeah. So pretty much at birth. Yeah. Yes. So, so I guess, uh, so I guess you would find great solace in the fact that uh, both of you have been selected for this. Yes, of course. Yes, it's an honor. Yes, for the emperor. Yes, for the emperor, you would have a choice about that. Uh, <laughs> 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 uh, mostly because you are a battle sister. If you dare to be a heretic, it's, it would be very swift. It's <laughs> very swift. Um, as you, both of you, bam, 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 both of you would have pretty much uh, been there right at the beginning, and you would have been f uh, facing uh, this guy on his throne. I cannot put him on his throne. No! <laughs> <laughs> no! Denied! No! And <laughs> what? I'm, I'm, I'm just imagined him draped across it, like hey, legs hanging over one arm. Can I move like the map? I can move the map the to other. fit on the throne. <laughs> no, I can't. Roll twenty. Why? <laughs> Unbelievable heresy. Roll twenty need to be burned. Uh, let me take my fucking token. Okay. <laughs> it will be on the throne. Somewhat, uh, one ash chick on it. Uh, <laughs> one mechanic. He's just looking cool there. He's just uh, looking cool. One, one Miko. Mi okay. Oh my god, this looks fucking weird. Uh, can I remove the grid? Uh, let me look at that. A snap to center. No snapping, please. Uh, fa 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 fa. Can I remove the fucking grid? Let me remove the grid. I don't want the grid. <laughs> I cannot remove the grid. Oh no. Fine. Uh, the oh, I need to go back there. Yeah. Uh, what? You told me no snapping. Why are you snapping? Okay. Go 20 is lying to me. Uh, I don't know if I can actually show it. Show the picture to you. I'm not too sure. You know what? Uh, look at the stream. I'm not going to show it to you. Uh, this bigger picture. There is no stat because you're not going to fight him. That's pretty much how I it looks like. What, what, That's what, him. You can disable the grid under page 76. Can I just hit my sister right now? Okay. Um, yes. Let me just mute the music because it's too loud for me and I cannot hear you. <laughs> okay. What did you say, uh, Cranion? Oh, uh, page settings. Let's see. If you like highlight the page in the the page toolbar and then there's a little gear next to it that you can disable the grid there page. oh uh off okay nice okay cool because it's ugly <laughs> and now and now i can yeah, be on my throne go. yeah thank you yeah, <laughs> nice. yeah i can yeah. sit my ass on <laughs> Inquisitor is proudly on his throne with both yeah. butt cheeks. Both both mechanical mm -hmm. butt cheeks have been implemented on the <laughs> throne. Mm -hmm. Um Okay. So there's no clap 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 just bang bang bang. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome. Okay. So 
R right now, uh, both of you, let's grab me the other lady. Come here. What? Wait a minute. No, okay. That was dumb. Uh, oh, sir, you cannot actually, without the grid, uh, you have to move your character like this. You cannot use the directional keys. Oh. Good to know. Um, and so you've been pretty much uh, the first to enter the room. Okay. That's weird. Uh, <laughs> oh, now you moved it again. Okay, that's better. So. And so as you have entered the room... Okay, word. Um, as you have entered the room, you pretty much are told to sit your ass down and wait a bit. Uh, by... Okay. And let me just show you. Uh, we were getting with that lady. Uh, and um, Elle is technically um, an assistant, but not... Uh, you don't really know, actually. You would not know. Mm -hmm. uh, feet to the Why is this so weird? Okay. I need to find a way to fix the tokens next. Because this is aggravating me. <laughs> and it's, it's pretty much the one that uh, gave you the... Uh, that. Okay, so I need to go back to select move. That guy is pretty much... And I need to show you how he looks like. Because I need to find the... Okay. Uh, do, do, do. That guy... Shaldor Rex is pretty much as you pretty much perceived. Mostly of tech priest or member of the Adeptus Mechanicus. Uh, as is mostly machine and not much man <laughs> anymore. Um, All right. And is the one pretty that cool. was is the one that was talking to your uh, head uh, head canoness to um, canoness pretty much uh, the leader of the artillery to recruit <laughs> you and then the head of the hospitalier uh, to recruit uh, your sister. Uh, uh, Katheria. As he pretty much moves to the side, openly showing, yes, that's our boss. Um, mm. He's still doing good. Okay, nice. Um, you pretty much uh, have a choice in between just uh, standing like badasses at the cost of your legs, because uh, you get tired, mm. uh, or uh, picking up a seat. Uh, note that there's more seats than this. That's not really a seat, but whatever. Um, I guess we're just going to stay up. Because I, I, I thought there were chairs, but there are no chairs. On. There are mecha chairs. Look, look at your mecha chairs. Wow, you're so happy now. Uh, <laughs> 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 choice? What is choice? Uh, <laughs> uh, so you can do whatever you want. Uh, sit up, wait for the other ones to show up. Or whatever. Uh, I'll sit up and wait for the other, and I'll stay up and wait for the other ones to arrive. Uh, yeah, and so they pretty much uh, they are talking to each other like um, he's he's pretty much like uh, looking at um, reports and shit like that, and he he looks at you, look at them, that, and he just goes, ah, yes, the sisters. Um, the, oh, the no. um, what? What did you say? Oh no. <laughs> Sounds bad. Uh, no, I did not hear you. Um, not really. Uh, actually, it's kind of difficult to say, to, to hear any kind of intonation in his voice. Because it's a vox. It's literally a speaker instead of a human voice. Mm -hmm. um, and as he looks if your help will be probably needed. Mm, Sisters of Battle are always a solid selection. And then you just look at them, just nods, and like, the other one should be here shortly. We just needed to uh, ensure that the rights were properly followed. And uh, as he says that, two more characters shows up. Um, with less ceremony than you, than you sisters. Uh, is that the... Uh, what the fuck is going on? Okay. Oh, that was dumb. Okay, I'm really dumb. Uh, as is. Uh, the two psychers enter the room. As is. 
I don't know why you're squash boy, but whatever. <laughs> um, the two psychos enter the room with the guards pretty much looking at them. Um, one of the um, adept uh, tech uh, bio biologists and a uh, member, I uh, would say, um, one of the members working on the black ship of the uh, black ships of the Inquisition nods. Um, she nods back, and uh, you are pretty much uh, showed the um, that you need to pretty much join the others. So would you do it or not? Um. If I've been given orders, yeah, I'll follow orders. I don't have control over my Did token, the... but uh. You have. <laughs> What? Yeah, but uh, it's it's not only me my token, but yeah, I gave her uh, a no, wood no. nod. Uh, and... no, okay, uh, agree to put back the grid because then you would uh, do what we do uh, with other stuff. Okay, and putting back the grid, grid because it doesn't change nothing. And normally you should be able to move your stuff. All right, I just put down my token. So let me move this one. Uh, no, click on the one I already put. No, it's there's nothing to click. It's not registering. What? Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, same. Oh! Shit. Um, na na na. Uh, control by. Oh, okay. Uh, who is that? Uh, that's. Uh, Katheria. Katheria. Done. Normally you can manipulate your character. Use the uh, directional. Um, Grizzled? Can you uh, use uh, keys? Uh, on the one I added, yes. No, not the one you, you put there. What? Oh, that's a bit of an issue, because I just changed it. Uh, I'm just going to change them. Catheria? Uh, no, not Catheria. The there are one. now three sisters of battle. <laughs> that's a problem. Uh, more psychers. <laughs> I'm, oh, no. I'm not going to lie, that hospitaler pick specifically, she looks like she's about to rock someone's shit. <laughs> she, could, she could already be fed up of your shit, yeah. That's, that's <laughs> good to be a thing. To be fair, hospitalers on the field of battle are freaking awesome. Oh, so fuck normally, yeah. um, Raven, can you try to use directional keys on your token? Uh, it's not working. <laughs> uh, click your token first and try. Uh... Yeah, it, it, it doesn't do anything. What? Yeah. Controlled by... Oh! Yeah, controlled by... Uh, Repensive character name... Determined by character settings... What the fuck do you mean? I like to think the tech priest's optics are malfunctioning, so he's just seeing double right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm going to start shooting people. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, we're already, we're already at the state. The commissar is shooting everyone's stage. Good. <laughs> okay, now my, can you? Okay, can you now? No, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I clicked on it. I'm trying to move. It's not working. Oh, oh no. What? Yeah. Oh. What Did what? you? Okay. Can you now? Wait, wait, wait a second. Her, technically, her token's not on the field. Um, eh? she, she would need to, like, that, that, oh. I, that static, that's, I think it's being treated as a static image. I don't think it's treating it as a token. Oh. Um, what? If she, I, I if token, she clicks I, I click, on her character and no, drags I, it in. No, I click on it and it's, it's written, uh, it's, it's called, like, token settings. Oh, weird. Uh, copy a snapshot of this token image, controlled by. Okay, oh, this no. is, this is annoying. Okay, that's supposed to be her. Why can't I? Uh, fuck. Okay. Show me the tooltip. Can, can you show me the fucking tooltip? Uh, above, top overlapping. Top overlapping, maybe? Uh, self settings. Uh, oh, is that. Oh. Okay, now maybe you can? Yes! Okay, I know Yay. what it is. <laughs> we did it! I solved it. <laughs> it was not on the right layer. Ah! Uh, token layer. Uh, token layer. So normally you can. 
All of you, I think. Yes. Yeah. Uh, not, not, not you. Uh, not you. Now you can. Uh, not that one. Uh, Ipsy? Okay. Yeah. Uh, what the fuck? Uh, where is he? What? Ah. Oh, I deleted. Oh. Okay, let's update that one. Uh, <laughs> There's now three of me! <laughs> I'm on, on my own weird main choir! This is a weird second phenomenon. I don't even Can you, can you delete you them? We're gonna die. I may be doing a few hidden psychic tests. I may not have rolled higher than a three yet. Uh, can you can uh -huh. you delete uh -huh. can you delete the duplicates, please? Um. I, how? how do you delete a duplicate? To, I'll move it off. Uh, right click, right click, right. delete. Yeah. Oh. Anyway, I moved it off screen so I can't click it anymore. So I think I did it. Uh, you um, have two copies of you. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, this one, this one, I can't interact with. Yeah, you can. I changed it. No, I no the, no oh no. Th th this one oh, right no. here, I oh, cannot no. do anything with. Wait, wait. What the fuck did I do? Oh shit. <sighs> okay. <laughs> yup. Why is the hospitaler slowly rotating? <laughs> Don't worry Why about not? it. <laughs> Getting ready to put down a psyker. No, oh my. no, you put that bolt pistol away, good, <laughs> okay, good, good. ma'am. <laughs> so can you move them now, or not at all? All right. I, I, I have the ability to move the map. The, the Stop moving the map. map is Someone is moving the map. I don't mean to. I'm very sorry. All right, I can move. All right, I can move this one. I cannot interact with the other two. Don't care, just need one. Alright, uh, this this is mine. This so is me. I can move that oh. one that's stuck at the door, I can't move. And I don't want to touch it because it seems to want to, like, um, move the map. Not... Yeah. Uh, which one can, I, any, can any of you co uh, control? Please say it. Yep. I'm fine. I've got it. Yes. You no, know, because there's two, <laughs> there is two sister hospitaliers. Which is the one I need to yep. delete? Uh, oh. The one, the one <laughs> uh, above. <laughs> Like, why can't no, I? Yeah, the one, that is the one the on top, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. What? Where is she? No, that's me. This one. Yes. The, the, the top one. one. So the top one is you? No, no, you can delete that yeah, one. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Like, where yeah, is yeah. she? Uh, because apparently she has moved to another stratosphere. Nice. Navy map? Ah, okay, she was there. <laughs> uh, I need to move her. We select uh, delete. Okay, good. So, oh my god. Okay, okay now I'm going to need to <laughs> remove myself to object and token so I can make sure you don't do any nonsense. Um, so, um, okay. And before anyone complains, you can only do that when players are present. So, yay. It was the obligatory, <laughs> the obligatory scuff. And before anyone asked, it was also the case when I was doing um, a virtual foundry. So it's the case with every single stream. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, part of the charm. It's, it's, all it's part of the experience. The scuff yes. is, a, is a way to grow together in harmony, etc., <laughs> etc. Et Epic shit. Stop, stop complaining. <laughs> <laughs> is it? <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, where was I? Oh, yeah. As both of you um, are psychers, scuff is important. Indeed, that's the way you learn. Uh, without scuff, you'd never know when everything crashes. Um, <laughs> so as, as uh, both of you sisters says, uh, and everyone in the room enters, you see two very different individuals. Uh, one is the, how would you describe Z as a psyker? And how would you... Have you th thought about how she would be... Why do I have puppies? Um, how she would be, uh, you could say, inducted into the... And now I'm not on my throne anymore. Why can't I... What the fuck? Uh, well... <laughs> uh, Z has uh, a very gaunt... Uh, very gaunt figure. Her skin is very pale, almost porcelain-like. 
Uh, she's got close cropped ginger or red colored hair, uh, blue eyes. Uh, she's seems to be kind of hugging the wall as she's moving, uh, like kind of like in that sense of just very meek, doesn't want to be perceived any more than she yeah. already is. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. So, um, she, uh, since since you know both of you know quite a bit about Warhammer Forty K, how would you think your characters would react to be inducted into the Inquisition, and how the process would be? He's if... waiting to get shot in the head. Okay, so she's yeah. so they're both fucking <laughs> terrified. Okay. Yeah. I mean, there is a reason why the black ships of the Inquisition are not seen as a good sign. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I'm eighty percent sure that my character wasn't really asked. More like they just picked yeah. him up from his bed and threw him on the ship. Pretty much, yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, and okay, what? Um, okay, so um... black ships were awful, but we got. I got. Oh, sorry, Z got used to that awful. This is yeah. unknown awful. Okay, so you are pretty much because you see a lot of stuff like. Even in this room, there is acolytes that actually start to leave the room because he's ready to uh, do the, the speech, to speechify, you could say, and to give you like um, pretty much like calibrating stuff. Uh, he's literally like in his ear like, um, Lord Inquisitor, that's not how you use that uh, piece of technology. And he's like, he's like, and he's just looking for, I never use this. What the fuck is this? I, I don't need to use it anymore. What, what the frack? And then they're pretty much arguing. And she's very much like keeping attention to all of you to make sure you don't do anything regrettable. Um, you know, just in case, you know, you never know. Um, everything can happen. It's Inquisition. It's, you know, outbreak of one-legged tyrannids over, over here. Who knows? Um, and so, Gabriel, you, um, you, you, as far as I remember, you were part of the Astra Militarum, right? Uh, Cadian uh, 275. Oh, so you are a very sad man. Uh, <laughs> yep. <laughs> because uh, Kadia does not exist anymore as a planet. And Kadia never fell. And it's very recent. It's it's mostly because uh, it broke before the god did. Yep. <laughs> and uh, because um, I agreed to do that afterward. After the introduction, I agreed to do a big introduction to the setting. So you'll understand this. <laughs> you'll understand this. I swear. I'm not going to just drop you, welcome to the law, I'm going to explain nothing, deal with it. Uh, no, I'm going to explain shit after that. So both of you, um, she pretty much, uh, again to show you what she looks like, because I'm, I love that picture. Uh, because it's a very cool one. She looked like this. Um, she pretty much looks at the both of you and points at the, uh, the sisters. Pretty much telling you like, to, to, to go in line or she, because she's not even showing the seat. Because you are psychers, so you expect to be treating a bit, to be treated a bit like that. Explosive We're not people. No, more like, more like, Here's um, my if more like if you would try to re to uh, reason with the uh, unstable exploding uranium. That's pretty much how psychers are treated, like fear and distrust, because you never know what the fuck is going to happen when they start to do like brain stuff. Fair. They randomly, you know, blow up and yeah. summon giant demons in their wake. So. Yeah, <laughs> and he starts. He starts as soon as you have psycho powers, you automatically become the one-way portal for anything that wants to eat your soul and murderify everyone around them. Or worse, it can be worst. <laughs> so, so yeah. Um, sh should I describe what Gabriel looks like now? Yeah. <clears throat> All right. So, uh, Gabriel is a somewhat tall individual um wrote his robes hang very loosely off his frame uh just has a very perpetual tired I look see you. large bags under his eyes um pale complexion but very leather like uh, his hair and eyes have both also gone on with shock white and um Kind of just like rubbing his forehead right now. He just leans against the wall, waiting for someone to tell him what to do. 
Ok. Uh, by the way, Joe. Yes. Uh, you need to uh, choose a picture for your boy. I do. I'm drawing one right now, but. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, choose a placeholder. Grab me something generic oh, for a moment. Yeah. Uh, cho choose a placeholder. Girl faster. <laughs> uh, so you are a noble. Uh, you are noble an military man. Oh yeah, true. No, I'm dressing. Yeah, no, I'm dressed in uniform. I bought that suit. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was 25 thrones. You can't take that from me. You can't take you can't take my drip from me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're, I mean, they're the Inquisition. They can. <laughs> no, and he's a noble. I'm a noble. They actually have to justify it when they do it yeah. to me. They actually, they See, act you guys, they don't have to justify it. Me, they, no. they do. Yeah, we have to be we have to be like, no, but we really need him. He's so important. <laughs> yep. And then they have to, oh, you don't have to think like this. <laughs> and that's how it goes. And you is just, you were thrown into, into, uh, into a black ship, told to shut up yeah. and uh, with guns pointed at you. Very different experience. I, I had a, a man in <laughs> a suit come up and hand me a piece of paper, which I read. And went, yeah, it's not fair. My approval. Let's do this. Uh, you are picking when you go to hub, so it's your microphone cuts. Oh, sorry. No, it's just there because I don't want I don't want your performance to be truncated <laughs> by this unlawful technological um, censorship of. Part of, uh... of it is I was turning around to grab the camera. <laughs> uh, I'm trying to find a noble motherfucker. <laughs> I have that one. That one is funny. Yep, throw the funny one on for now. Okay. Looking motivation <laughs> for him to draw something. Yeah, that, that's the oh, funny... I'm drawing it at the moment, but yeah. <laughs> that's the <a> funny one. <laughs> uh, to me, it's funny because it looks like uh, a British judge. Um, oh, that'll love yeah. a powdered wig. Uh, sexy, sexy powdered wig. Yes, <laughs> powdered in poop. Mm. Uh, I want to light his head on fire. Uh, if you do no, that technically, you'll get shot in the head. Uh, by the way, every single noble in uh, Warhammer has something called the vendetta, the culture. It's yeah, literally. Don't worry, I'm bringing my baggage with me. Yeah, and <laughs> also vendetta, uh, and and actually vendetta applies to anyone that's also not a noble because it's uh, house wide. So if someone yeah. from from noble family gets murdered. Uh, by another imperial citizen, they have the right to uh, um, engage in bounty hunting to avenge their bloodline. Very positive stuff. Very, very bounding. Like, it's oof, so, so good for the morale. Uh, <coughs> uh, <laughs> so, yeah. Oh, by the way, all of you in my party are also subject to the same wonderful rules. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Sharing is caring! <laughs> Except for the sisters, because they're ecclesiastic. Yes. And that suddenly means something entirely different. Yes, so because really uh, only the psychers have to worry about it. Because yay, uh, me ladies, me ladies of the church. If you get murdered by someone, it is heresy. Mm -hmm. Nice. So you have you have religion protection, hmm. which pretty much means that uh, if a nun with guns is killed by someone at random, they can be categorized strongly as heretics. Which means that they get killed by other nuns in guns, in probably brutal fashion, a good old burning in the pl in the ro in the center room, uh, in the center place of any kind of c of city, in the public place for everyone to see that nuns with guns are not something to trifle with, and they're not. Yep. <laughs> they're really not. Uh, let's say that sin of existence is part of something. Um, because heretics don't deserve to exist. Uh, it's actually in the law. He's through fire. Uh, fire, Melta, and Bolter. They shall be purged of their sin of existence. Exactly. Uh, I also have that very fancy boy. If you want. Meh, who fancy? Where are you po- Oh, you're posting him there. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's very oh, no, fancy. Do the powdered wig guy. I like- Let's do powdered wig for now. Okay. <laughs> Un until until you draw your your boy as you tend to do. Until you use to you artify that stuff. Yep. 
So, um, <laughs> how do I describe this? <laughs> that it is the two, the two very extreme of the spectrum. Well, the best thing about it is I am utterly forgettable. Yeah, because you're an adept. As well as I've got the trait unremarkable. So your eyes will just drift over me like I'm part of the scenery. Okay, that's going to be funny. <laughs> that's going to be funny because you are not going to get that. <laughs> um, uh, did, can you change on your character sheet? Like on edit on your character sheet in avatar and default token? Just slap yeah, that. Give me a second. Yeah. Uh, sorry if the start of the stream is a little bit, uh, is a little bit uh, slow. It's simply because we have, as you can see, we have a bunch of shit to do uh, before to before um, getting, uh, you know, getting it started. Um, and uh, just just saying, you know, it's uh, some stuff we need players to, and I don't want to bother them when they are doing other stuff. So you get bothered instead. <laughs> Yay! And you don't have a choice. I'm the streamer. <laughs> So on your character sheet, you can see like edit, and you just put the picture there in those two. Dang it! One second, I'm in the wrong folder. Ooh. There we go. Now I should okay. be able to find it. Nice. And <laughs> a bit so it. And now I'm going to cast a spell on myself called drink a beer. Because it's the first episode that I want to celebrate it. Even with the scuff, I don't care. I am DMing again. Uh, oh my god. Uh, I am DMing again, so yay. <laughs> yay. Yay. <laughs> yeah. And then after his night, celebrated mightily. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the death. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and scuff has a chance with stream. But no, you know that it's truly live. No, no, no recording here because I can you? Um, no, you can't on Twitch. I don't think. I mean, on clips you can technically, but whatever. <laughs> uh, Maybe. Where the? F there you are. There. Should be saved as a, as a token. Uh, both uh, token and avatar in edit. So same picture in avatar. Yay! And as you see, accompanied with servants, flanking him at the sides, Joseph Maria Edgar the 24th of his name and uh, the room and i need to update your shit normally it should work uh, are you on the proper layer you are it should normally work and you are also a squish boy <laughs> yep i don't know why whatever i'm going because to it's a because it's not a square picture yeah i know i need we need to squarify you I I'll, I'll make a new one. That's a word. I'm I don't <laughs> care. I'm inventing my own words. It's my rule here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I rule. <laughs> you, you, you shan't stop me. Only internet connection can. <laughs> um, so, yeah. And as you enter, you literally flank by two. Uh, uh, pretty much uh, two servants sent by your... Uh, did you decide on the, fam on the house name or not? Uh, no. No, let's... I was wondering, uh... Yeah. Be basically because it, we're in your sector, so I was gonna leave it there. Okay. Uh, I guess one of the names that you choose is Joseph Miriam Edgar. One could be your house. Uh, no, house Miriam. Okay, you are part of House Miriam. You are uh, part of, um... Mostly a military family. I mean, our military family. Mm-hmm. Uh... And as you enter the room, you see that she slowly turns towards your servants. And um, she, she starts to, to move about. 
be like, I thought we told them that there should be no one with the invita with the new acolyte. I, I turn and I um wave my hand dismissively at the two men. You may return to the house, my good sirs. Your services at such time are appreciated, but unneeded. And he, the almost mechanical abomination <laughs> that you have in front of you, because he, to remind to remind you, he looked like this. Mm -hmm. Uh, and s like uh, um, you, you, if he could like, you know, roll his eyes, but he can't because he has no eyes. It's it has been replaced by mechanical parts. <laughs> and he immediately is is slowly like, you you can feel the almost like the machine within him refusing to bow to you so he's like the, the most forced bow you've seen in a long time <laughs> and there's like we're like my lord eee. welcome and, and he moves back there is no effort in his voice he's doing uh, it because he has to <laughs> and as I you yeah. I give a courtesy bow as well with a roll of the hand in acceptance. Ooh. Okay. As you do that, it does not really... Who has been moving? No, I've been moving that. You're supposed to be like this. And I've... And she... Just because I'm a noble mean, doesn't mean I'm not used to uh, military ranks and honors. Okay, nice. Um, how would you describe Joseph Miriam Edgar the 24th? <laughs> yes, I mean, Unless you roll really high on your awareness check, he is utterly and ignominiably forgettable. So he is the equivalent You're of a knight. Like over him yeah. as if he's, you know, any other noble bootstrapping military man you've ever seen. His hair is black, his skin is dark and torn from years of standing under the sun. The left side of his face and body is covered in a very elaborate electro tattoo with little lights and blinkies all through it. Oh, is it blinky? Another... Yes, it's blinky and colorful. <laughs> so wonderful. <laughs> oh. He has various uh, campaign ribbons and badges of office upon his pristine and steamed uniform. And he walks with a, a, a little bit more of a fencer's walk, a, a, something more predatorial than oh. you're used to. Uh, that is completely forgettable and run of the mill. So pretty much a, 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 what you would presume to be like an accountant from the office, but in a very, very, very fancy outfit. And... Uh, Nice um, niceties upon him, upon him to show the proper etiquette and rank of his of his office and family. Less of an accountant, more of one of the malud of officers you see in the back of some uh, tactical campaign oh, table, yes. the running papers and pushing <sighs> little models across the no, yes. various tables. Me yes. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, so, she pretty much, always, as you can see, probably by a lot of experience, she never, uh, her, high con her high contact never leaves the psychers. So, you, this probably has been some trauma over here, <laughs> of about <laughs> years of working in the Inquisition and shit Stop going south. Me. What? Oh, the, the, the lady's staring. I'm just <laughs> willing her to stop because I want to not be perceived. She's like, don't look at me anymore. I'm I am hidden. <laughs> Please. <laughs> um, I'm just wondering why everyone is just cuddling around me right now. Because you're I'm a big lady. Wall. You happen to be near the wall. <laughs> Yeah. Look, look, we, look, we were told either stand next to the sisters or get shot in the fucking face. Okay, <laughs> okay. <Fair> yeah. <laughs> because you, you, you are the security. If they if they turn into a demon, your duty is to shoot them. Your holy duty. Don't have a choice. 
so we're God now your problem. <laughs> oh no. I got that demon. It's your fault, not mine. Yep. Uh, you need to shoot me in the head fast enough. <laughs> You're gonna need to be the one to explain how you lost two psychers on one mission. I think the, the Inquisition is a point where you go, Demon? <laughs> so, it's Demon or Gene Stealer? What is it? <laughs> I'm wondering what I did to the Emperor to end up here. <laughs> Thing we only get worse. Welcome. <laughs> It's your holy duty, by the way. Greatest honor. And it sucks. Time to think about your, <laughs> your life choices that you didn't have because you were born in it. Welcome oh, to the oh, wonderful. It's all downhill from here. <laughs> 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 and you have to heal them on top of that. So one only has to shoot. The other one can uh, also has to shoot and heal them. Uh, so I have to heal those. Huh? You have to heal every and everyone if they're not a demon. Is there a demon you need to shoot them? Well, when, when you're about to <laughs> stick okay. us with something, make sure it's the right thing. <laughs> if you see a tentacle, shoot them with the other gun. Not not the needle gun, the gun gun. <laughs> Good rule of thumb. If, if you start seeing eyes and shit popping out of the rip cage, that's not normal. Shooty shoot. <laughs> um, so <laughs> if we start levitating three feet off the ground while yeah. speaking in tongue, yeah. That's actually normal. <laughs> no, no, T time for the boat. <laughs> mm. Don't tell, don't tell them that. <laughs> Listen, I, I, I am the DM. I'm supposed to be like the almost. Yes, and uh, as you can, as you see, um, he pretty much uh, looks at you, uh, do a nod, and point at the chair. That's 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 yeah. supposed to be a chair. <laughs> I'm. Uh, come on. Oh, you can't. No, I'm one second. Mm -hmm. Huh. No, it, it won't let me. Uh, try just you to drag it. You have the ruler selected and not the, the, the selecty tooly thing? That's because the, you used to be able to select with the ruler and yeah. tell it where to go. Oh, well. So, um... I, I wanted I, to make I, the cool slide motion. Yeah, you wanted to do the, <laughs> the walk. I missed I the a, old slide motion. It was cool. I, I have a quick question, DM. Yes. I'm looking at the two sisters. Why are you still on your side like that? Looking at the two sisters here. <laughs> said, one is planking, I... the other one is. <laughs> um, well, um, lo looking at the two, lo looking at the two sisters here. How much contempt do they have when looking at me and the other psyker? Not much, because to them, actually putting out of misery, it's an act of mercy. So they would, have, ah. they would not have much contempt for you. Mostly, I, I guess it depends on the personality, but on the best line, it's mostly seen as pity. Yeah. It uh, depends on the sister and the order and yeah. what they teach about which so, is... So, I guess it's up to the sisters. Do you want to be dipshits and go like, uh, psika, uh, <laughs> or to be like, it's not their fault they were born with it. Let's try to guide them to the light of the God Emperor. And shoot them in the fuck up! <laughs> Gabriel? Hmm? You poor, poor child. <laughs> fuck yeah, this is great. Don't worry, I'll murder you first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah? People that are concerned about him, this is something Gabriel's not used to. <laughs> yeah, Sisters of Battle are confusing for many people. Yes, they are, I love them. Yeah. They give a, a lot of awkward bonus to a lot of people. <laughs> I, I'm more gonna be of a... Uh, don't care until you become demons. <laughs> okay, so you pretty much not even look at them. So, They're just here. They exist. So, yeah, so they just exist. I don't care. So, pi so pity and indifference. Okay, yeah. I can work with that. You said well, that that's... Make a mark of the throne to the sisters, but I kind of ignore the psychers because they're just background noise. <laughs> Dude, that's, that's actually a great World position for psychers. Hand them my bags. Here you go. <laughs> Seven, boy. This is for you. <laughs> which 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 psych are you handing your bags off to? Well, Gabriel's the one that's closest, so it was probably Gabriel that got handed some bags. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna put them on the floor next to me. Well, that's fine for now. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. And as 
as he's, as he's pretty much like finish like uh, his to write, read uh, his reports. Um, the room, the room t go, grows darker, and you see like uh, right in front of him so, some apparatus on the ceiling um, above those two thingies. Um, lowers down, and the holograms start to show up, and he goes, "There, that's working." It's been a long time since I used this. I don't tend to do this. Um, so normally I have some adepts doing it, but I guess the situation is what it is, and it's exactly why you have been summoned here. Um, welcome to the Holy Orders of the Inquisition. You shall be acolytes. Do you know what that entails? Because well, yes, I'm willing to inform you to make it more expedient. Kill the not, not in the slightest, sir. I'll I be figure honest. we follow your orders wait, and fulfill wait, them to the I'm greatest a of our ability. <laughs> I'm a dumbass. I was, I'm a dumbass. I was quite, li quite after my bunk in the middle of the night. I'm not really sure what's happening right now. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't even need to be there. I could get this shit by email. Uh, <laughs> yes, but no. Data but, slate. Data slate. My data mail. <laughs> yes. I got it by astropathic no choir. Noosphere. <laughs> So yeah, normally you, normally you should be uh, <laughs> normally you should be able to move your character now. I think. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. <coughs> Where can we go? We. And you pretty much as he nods at you, and the other tech priest, the two pretty much the two techies, uh, l uh, nod at you. And in Benabic screeching, they 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 pretty much say, um, point at point there, and go and go you and go um, brother, brother of the Omnissiah, use this. Uh, a data slate and this apparatus to uh, immediately know the content of the mission. Plan ahead, it will go quicker for you to directly download the information rather than me explain it to you, as their body has not been graced by the machine. At once, Magos. Good. And is that snap back to you, like, almost like immediately, like, we? <laughs> you know? <laughs> And um, you can, by the way, um, Cranial, uh, describe mm -hmm. your character quickly. Uh, it's rather small of frame, but with every exposed bit of skin has some kind of elect 2 on it. Generally in places where it looks like it would be uh, marked as though for being carved open or like almost butchered. You know what I mean? Like okay. the underside of the arms where you would cut and then peel open the skin and flesh. Mm. Uh, one side of the face, the right side of the face, looks has what kind of looks like a third <laughs> eye sort of thing, but it's not actually a functional eye. It's just a, a blinky light on another device, <laughs> which okay. is the, the uplink to the animals that I have, the robot Yes. Uh, uh, otherwise, oh, yeah. though, um, I, yeah, he's just small. Like, he doesn't hunch. Mm. Uh but the it's standing upright it looks kind of weird like the lower back is unnaturally rigid it looks a little bit like he's kind of leaning back at all times just very slightly um the robes kind of cover it but it definitely looks a bit freaky like he's gonna fall over backward at any second <laughs> okay mm -hmm. um as as he pretty much ignores all of you yep and immediately starts um Doing his job. So we have burps. Um, <laughs> and he pretty much uh, turns back to all of you and he goes, uh, So, any question about the Inquisition? I know you. The, I know our name has a rather complicated facet to it. Um, but know that uh, your job is a great honor to the Emperor. <laughs> and in our situation of need, since uh, in, uh, the end of the. In the Mythos Crusade, the Galaxy Sector has never been as important as it is now. As a bridge that connects or fractured... What the fuck is that? That's no... I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> 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 what you move that? Uh, uh, <laughs> why, why is there keep going now? That, that was, that I'm was sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I didn't mean to do that! <laughs> All good. 
Okay. Oops. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> We're off to a great start, everyone. <laughs> um, Welcome to Growing Pains. <laughs> Sorry. Like Chris Ellie on it, I think, maybe. Oh my drink. god. Yeah, I, I'm gonna drink more beer, I need it now. <laughs> I, I'm now. I'm now imagining as all our characters were walking to the room being shown, just a friend dream is playing. <laughs> 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 she, she's going to Tower of the Emperor, don't, don't mind her. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, so, Raven, uh, Raven, what's her name? Uh, I need to remember the names. Uh, Varina's answer was pretty much to shoot heretics, which is, take, which is, I guess, a bit of an order, yes, that's part of the job, indeed. Mm -hmm. um, but, um, in the current situation, the stability of the sector is of utmost importance. As the rift from the warp, warp being hell, through the... Um, okay. A big bad guy of the name of Abaddon has launched a Black Crusade. Black Crusade being the bad boys of chaos trying to invade the, emper the Empire. They do that through a hole to the warp. That hole is called the Eye of Terror. Uh, the warp being hell. When all of the demons and all of the chaos is. Uh... The Abaddon are pretty much Chaos Space Marines, they are renegade Space Marines, bad guys in big armor. One of the main threats to the Emperor, to the Empire. And they invaded en masse to try to, as they did 13 time, I think. Yeah, 13. Uh, they, because 13 funny number. Um, they um, somewhat succeeded in making a big, uh, extending that portal to hell. To literally become like a, um, a fracture throughout the galaxy. So instead of just having one portal to hell, you literally have like a big... Uh, how do we say that? Uh, almost like a big line um, dividing the uh, galaxy in two. And in the middle, a lot of warp storms, which are pretty much hell storms. And a lot of it being somewhat um, made out of unstable portals, micro portals to the warp. A lot of bad stuff. Bad guys everywhere. Oh my god, what a bad time it is. And the half, um, one of the half is still one of the main uh, galaxy of the, um, of the Imperium with the Emperor at the center, with Earth, or it's called the Terror, at the middle of it. This one is fine, but the one that was divided on the other side of the fracture, the fissure, has been cut off of everything. So they are pretty much in the dark, uh, panicking, and uh, let's say, to shorten it again, a big blue boy named Robotech Gilliman, which is a Primarch. Primarch is pretty much like the Emperor, but a mini Emperor. He's like a son of the Emperor, literally, uh, who was in stasis for a long time. He was wounded, and now he's back. Don't need to know all of that. But uh, that guy, Robotech Gilliman, um, got on a crusade, kicked a bunch of ass. Uh, allowed the Emperor to trash talk for the first time in 10,000 years, which was very cathartic, by the way. Um, <laughs> and, and managed to pretty much almost reunite the Imperium uh, by um, allowing Space Marines, mostly led by the Blood Angels, which is one of the main... Uh, do you know what a Space Marine is? I do. No, um, Raven and Grizzled. Oh, I kinda, a bit. Big boys in big armor. Yes. yes. That's all you need to know That's right now. That's what I know. That's all you need to know right now. <laughs> okay. Uh, one of the leaders, the big boys. <laughs> They're the... angels of the emperors, basically, the best way to explain them. Yeah, but angels of the emperor, they are pretty much super soldiers. The space mine are the super soldiers of the empire, of the empire and Gilliman has to decide who on the other side would become the commander, and since the big boss of the blood angels was the one who literally did the job. He became the de facto commander half of the Empire. In an effort with them to try to reconquer, restabilize, reunite the Imperium. And funny things, uh, the Galaxy Sector, is the Sector, which is where you are, is just behind that big portal to hell. So you're one of the only regions that can link the two divided sides of the Imperium. Somewhat safely. 
So the stability of the sector is, is pretty much like you're the only highway between the two half. And if you want traffic between the two half, you need a good sector that's not going to murder murder your Reich. And that's why it's important for him to get more, for that boy, to get more acolytes to s help stabilize the Calixi sector so that the war effort can go on. Do you got it? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's the current situation of the Calixi sector. And so uh, he had to... Um, uh, I needed to get more acolytes simply because the job has gotten more intense. Um, so right now I'm going to give you a simple task, somewhat. Uh, he literally looks at um, Joseph and he goes, you'll be right in your element. So please use all your nobleborn know-how to navigate the I know I have to remember the name uh, ah the the manner of is pretty much like the palace complex of uh, okay I need to calm the fuck down the you you shall be infiltrated into the palace complex of the governor of the planet of Malfi Malfi being okay. one of the, one of the two major planets in the galaxy sector. Um, okay, let's say, uh, what, uh, in the US, the capital is Washington DC, right? Yes. yes. Is there any <coughs> town in the US that want to claim that, to be like the main contender for that? If you ask anyone California, Chicago. they'll say Hollywood. <laughs> no, no, actually in California, it's not Hollywood. It's actually LA. But... It's a joke because of self-important people in Hollywood. Yeah, oh, yeah. that's fair. Could be a Philadelphia. Yeah. Go historically. Yeah. So, um, um, Malfi is that to Centilia. Centilia is uh, Centilia is the main planet. It's the one that is at the center. It's the capital of the sector. And Malfi is like number two. But of course, the noblemen of uh, the noble and aristocrats of Malfi uh, always say and always whinge about the fact that they should be number one. Okay. Uh, Centilia is most uh, no. Malfi is mostly an industrial planet, metallurgy and stuff like that. But they also have a very extravagant uh, aristocracy, um, which uh, pretty much they have the highest concentration of aristocrats in the sector. Uh, so a lot of luxury and a lot of misery. <laughs> um, okay. they, they're also well known for vendettas, bloody revenges among themselves, and to be the founder of the Bloodsworn. Of, uh, which is an order of mercenaries and bounty hunters to enact vengeance by proxy. Um, and you are, the, you will be, um, you will be dropped in the, um, pretty much to celebrate the victories of of uh, Primarch Gilliman. May his name be blessed in the light of the Emperor. You shall be um, infiltrated with the help of uh, one of the noble house of gliders which are the current um pretty much uh what do you say that ah i forgot the name damn it uh a magistrate head magistrate no uh governor the current governors of malfi and you'll be infiltrated in there to try to find any to try to find any traces of a certain cult called the logicians a very old cult and threat to the Calixis sector that believes that progress at all costs is a viable solution. They mostly dabble in uh, technological abominations, genetic, genetic manipulation, anything and everything that has to do with technology, they shall do, as they see it, as a, val as a um, um, valid path to make mankind and the Empire progress at any cost, any risk. Uh, and you would also be sent there to, and she will move ahead. Dup, 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 dup. She will move. And on this table, she will put down what looks like, almost like a box of pills, but not really. 
as inside the pill shaped um, what are the pill shaped items they look almost like um, uh, circuits they're definitely mechanical in nature and he goes this will make us able to track some choice targets for you and for us which we need to spy on them and hack their devices do not ask where they come from, you don't need to know, this is dangerous for you, please don't ask any questions. Question are dangerous, you know. You know. You know. Say yes. 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 Of Good. course. Good. Um, we need to, you have two choices with those valuable items, which you can either use, and she would put down uh, needle guns, like uh, digitized needle guns. So they're pretty much... Um, um, ah, uh, 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 rings, but on, in these rings are uh, little guns in there, like miniaturized. Very expensive. Very expensive, yep. one shot only. Um, you need to either inject them directly this into the meatiest part of the meat bags you can find. Uh, <coughs> esteemed nobleman. Um, <laughs> um, or you can make them ingest it in the pill form. You have either ingestion, which of course this is a grand event on three days. There will be many banquets. There will be a lot of talking. There will be a lot of showing off. Maybe some duels. Maybe some opportunities to heal the injured. And he looks at you to inject some medicine. You are, after all, have you not sworn the oath of the hospitalier? But who knows what can be in that injector? Mm -hmm. Catching my drift? Yes. Good. Point nudge nudge. <laughs> <laughs> and you, good, my good sir, shall use all of your skills as a nobleman to make sure that diplomacy shall be respected and that you, or you shall not be found. All right? Oh! Of course, my good sir. I shall indubitably charge forward in the persuasions of these duties. Good. And you, Psychos, step forth. Step forward. You're psychic and stuff. <laughs> step forward. Please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> you, like, no, no you shall, of course, use your psychic powers if necessary, but your job mostly would be as, uh, how could I say, noblemen do not usually have psychers, so you shall be a mean to show off. Of course, not showing off literally your powers, that would be dangerous. Just, you shall know one of you one of you, to your choice, I don't want to make you uncomfortable, of course, shall be declared as a psyche. You shall be known as a psyche. The other one will have the luxury to hide it as a plan B. So decide among your, you, amongst yourselves. You can use, um, you know, head or tails, uh, whatever means you want. I, let's I'll say be the known psyche. You, you can use the cards I spawned by mistake. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, get, Gabriel's, gonna turn, get, Gabriel's gonna turn to look at. Um, just a whole lot of stop, stop, bad idea. <laughs> yeah, get, get, Gabriel's just gonna turn to look at the other psyker. I assume you would prefer to not the spotlight, as it were. I'll, I'll follow whatever orders I'm given. I am giving you the order to think for yourself for once. <laughs> I, I like that one. <laughs> this is an order. <laughs> that would be the servant. <laughs> this is an order. You need to decide among yourselves as if one of you will, will be forced. I would rather have the person that is the most skilled as a face, a front, the most talkative, the most sociable. So well, that's not me then. <laughs> So please assess amongst you, you two who shall be the that one because we do have uh, 
the trip to Balfi in which they have the chance to decide, I would think, my good sir, in which we can find out which would be more uh, suitable for said role. Or you could, or you could decide on the way, but I would need to be notified. Looks, of course. Looks immediately to the tech priest. In binary, notify me. Affirmative. Good. And then immediately look at him. Good. So know that you shall be decked out properly for a function of this magnitude. As um, dear, dear, dear nobleman Joseph would know, showing in drags would actually grab more attention than necessary. At this event, everyone shall be noticeably dressed up, so you need the proper drip for said event. Drip, I, I think drip is a low gothic word for um, yeah. fancy. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard that a reclamator told me. Uh, did, I, did I use that right? <laughs> this is literally the only outfit I <laughs> No, no, uh, Take we shall... care of the uh, of outfits, I think. <laughs> no, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Dress them up. Um, sisters? So very old patched together. Bro. Yes. No, yeah, we're <laughs> that. I was just saying, like, we were basically yanked off the flagship. They're like, yes. yeah, here's, here's some pants so you're not naked. Yeah, yeah literally, you shall, you shall be done. dressed. <laughs> you shall be dressed in consequence. In, uh, to properly do the job. Um, um, sisters? Yes. Yes. Step forward. I am tired of looking up. Step forward. In the light. I'm talking to people, not... <laughs> not sheep rats, not void rats. Okay. I mean, that's a bit rich for me, but I mean, uh, technical tech priest, uh, whatever. Uh... <coughs> <laughs> Uh, so, your job shall be, of course, to provide security for the team, as one of you is highly skilled in weapons. But also, we cannot sadly, sadly, let you uh, go there in a power armor of this style. This is too on the nose. As you can see, you are in your uniforms. Your uniforms are very much... How do I say that? Um, indicative of your position. You, you're in, you're in non-uniform. That, that needs to be addressed. Yeah. You Can need I to be fancy or dressed. <laughs> your feet is mid. He <laughs> 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 don't say that. I say that. Uh, pretty much the entire thing is your feet is mid, and you are dealing, you are dealing with uh, pointing <laughs> at him. Very, very extravagant people. And. The church is not very extravagant in your uniforms. <laughs> not, not really much. Um, so you shall be in civilian clothing. One of you will be by well, civilian nobleman clothing. All of you. Uh, but you, as you are a tech priest, and we don't need such apparels. As the as the mechanicum does not care about the appearance of its servants, only that the machine shall be praised. Praise the Messiah. Um, and so you shall both, one of you shall be decked into a. I. Okay, let me take a guess. Who would like to keep the armor? Me. Hmm. That's what I guessed. <laughs> so your your armor shall be blinged up. As I said, it's also logothic, I think. I, I spent too much time okay. with the kilometers. Um, and you shall. Um, you do don a different carapace, mostly a breastplate, under your robes to make sure that they don't see the obvious, you know. I'm, no, I'm here to, to kill people. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> of course, hand weapons can be carried, uh, but uh, biggie weapons, uh, two-handed weapons, not, not really, that's too obvious. Um, um, Malfi nobles tend to carry uh, sabers and dueling guns because they're nobles, they like to duel. You know, the entire thing, my mother three years ago, no, 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 I don't, I don't know what they say, honestly. Um, but they, they like to fight. But only with handguns and wholly, only with sabers or hand weapons. They don't do big stuff. So, 
Yeah, you should be given a bolt of pistol. You. And uh, yeah, so you can keep all of your handguns and shit. Uh, they should be blinked up as well because that's, if you have, it's pretty much the entire getup uh, is getting nobilified, but yours. You're already nobilified. You're noble. That's that's, that's just a normal outfit. It is. It's what I wear. <laughs> uh, you can get better accessories though if you want. Um, and that's uh, pretty much it. So any question about how the mission shall go? Uh, okay, I almost forgot. Important points. Here are your targets. And you see the... I have not talked to a colette myself in quite a while. That's weird. Oh, phew, it's been years. Um, I, I don't do that normally. Um, so here are the... So that's why it's kind of, you know, kind of a mess. Because it's like, I don't talk to people anymore. <laughs> uh, your targets shall be... Ta -ta -ta. First and foremost, your contacts are very important. Your first contact shall be the noble scion of the house of Glidus, which is your host. You are his guest. Okay? He's your getting in. He's your backup. These things are getting a wire. And so you shall, you know, keep an eye, just in case. As he's pretty much your lifeline. Is also one of you and him shall have a um, um, the uh, how do you say that the remote for a drop pod. The drop pod shall drop all of your weapons, the biggie guns, like your biggie bolter, for example. You, you. Mm -hmm. um, yes, in ca and but, and also your full blown armor for you, you. Uh, in case things go south, as one might say, I don't know why they say that. I think it's also like from like old time. I, I'm not too sure. I spent two times with Clamatos. Um, <laughs> um, so yes, he's pretty much your, your host, the one you have to look for. And if he dies, that's bad, really bad, because it means that his family would be less willing to work with us, and we need a way in. As for an example, if I would step in, and I can't. I would need to step in with a lot of people and guns. You know the difference? Infiltration, war, not the same. So please do your job diligently. If not, things will go badly for you and me, and mostly you. Um, also, you have to look at that guy. That young nobleman is also very well known for being very extravagant. He's one of the main mercantile families. And most of the, and then you guess, why him? Because most of the logicians are known to be mercantile. They are merchants, they are financiers, because to buy old school te dangerous technologies, you need a lot of credits. And that guy is kind of suspicious because he has a lot of money that disappears quickly, which is kind of weird because we don't know where. So please track him, uh, inject him, and let us figure it out. And as he says, as he says, figure it out. You see her smirk and tap the one of her blade on the side. Figure it out. Hmm. That's one of the reasons why tracking people is actually great. Um, there is also this fancy lady. She is a rock trader. She may deal in the cold trade. She has been seen with rather unsavory characters, which is not uncommon for rock traders. But in those times, one has to be cautious. And so, you know, keeping an eye on them, your closer eye, is a safer way for all of the Empire. So please um, find her and inject her. As a rogue trader, she might, uh, she will probably be the most arduous target, as they are all fighters. They all know how to fight, they all know how to fire guns. They are pretty formidable. I should know. And um, so she's not expressly a heretic. There is no, by the way, there is no overt heretics. This is too easy. If there is overt heretics, I would not need you to infiltrate the overt heretics. I would simply kill them all. Um, but what you have to remember is that it's mostly about triangulating them, seeing where the exchanges are, seeing if there is any coordination, Etc. Etc. Data information very important. 
So please do it quietly. Try to do it by ingestion with her because uh, if she feels or hear anything close to a gun, she might draw a power sword on you. Ouch. Blue Hope Cape, hey, oh, dude. Um, here is Miranda of Rhaetia. She is one of the main figures of the Ecclesiarchy on this fanciful event. But, mm, as as you as you might know, mm, I guess sisters sh maybe shall be conflicted on this matter. Um, as you are yourself members of the Ecclesiarchy, she could be either an ally or an a foe. Her situation is pretty unknown. Um, she's known for charity events to finance big uh, sermons to help a lot of uh, um, of churches, of uh, churches of the emperor. So sh also um, allotting money for shrines. So honestly, who knows? But you know what they say: caution is the mother of wisdom. So inject her just in case. She has too much power. <laughs> Uh, and if you do, if you sisters won't do it, well, we have more people. Do it instead. It shall be done. Good. Um, know that um, this is uh, the navigator of Veldor Arslavad. He is actually one of the head of the new, which is strange, splinter of a navigator house that has recently gained a lot of power, which is also very surprising. Um, they have managed to get rid of a rival house that was far older and had far more members, which is also weird. And uh, because but the ways of the navigator tend to end up in a free fall of psychic powers. So, you know, surprising, not surprising. It's surprising they won because often, you know, uh, safety numbers and they were not the most numerous. But a uh, let's say it's a suspicious rising power that we don't have a good handle on, so more information is needed for the safety of the Imperium. So, of course, navigators are all psychers, so you better be careful with them, it's just in case. Uh, know actually that uh, this uh, event is supposed to be um, violence-free, psychic power-free, pretty much supposed to be a safe event. So, use violence with caution. Uh, which is why you have digitized violence. Micro you have injectors that are not, um, that's not supposed to be seen. Shake hands. Do whatever you need to do. Inject them. We need the information. Because we need to safe... We need, we need to quickly safeguard the, um, the Galaxy Sector for further operations. Um, then we have actually a, most probably an ally at maybe would hurt sisters for a reput reputation. We have the sister Famulus Xanthia. She is very well known to be the face of the uh, Ordo Sororitas uh, amongst the, no the nobility. She is very well known for as all, but, uh, all um, uh, brides of the Emperor to be very, very stubborn. To, uh, to never indulge in anything, she never drinks, she never does anything out of the line, she's very strict, but she's also very, of course, as a sister of Famulus, diplomatically able. She, she should not be injected, she, we should not get in the way, but they, if, if things go down, if chaos is found, they, sh they will undoubtedly be on our side. So, a possible ally, and also a source of information, uh, if necessary. Of course, she is not um, aware of who you are or what you do. But if you should be discovered as agent of the acquisition, she would be a good backup. Uh, the same with... Uh, where are you? Her. Uh, did I? Yes. No, we haven't covered her yet. She's the the arc factor of the latter system. She's one of the arc factors. 
She's pretty much the face of the Omnisaya and of the uh, Mechanicum, Mechanicus in this uh, in the sector. One of the main faces, uh, one of the main diplomats uh, of uh, our order. She, uh, my, one of my orders, and look at the tech priest. Ours. She would be a great help in some situations. Again, never reveal your work unless it's the last option. As I, having to rely on them, they may go back to me to try to get some favors. And I would much rather not. Because favors are like the greatest currency you could get in our situation. Oh, by the way. So if they ask, can I ask you a favor later? And then they ask, can your inquisitor do this? This is not a favor asked to you. This is a favor asked to me. Which I would rather not. I am a busy man. Please do it. Um, with your own means as much as possible. Are you okay with that? Understand? Yes. Understood. Affirmative. Okay. Good. Debt is not something that I like to accumulate. Um, and who knows what they're going to turn heretic, and then I could be, imp and then we could, we all could be accomplices, which is not something we want in the Inquisition, unsurprisingly. So. And I think I did them all. Yes. Uh, yes. Yes. So this has all your targets to rem to remind you. Huh? Uh. Not her. <laughs> yep. Our targets are. Let's see. Lodolia. Lodolia. Yeah. Lodolia Lady. Erdoya Vel Dulthoff, Miranda of Russia, and the navigator Zelda Er Slavid. Yes. Yes, because this would give us a, um, a good handle on some of the highest ranking members of, of the uh, Adeptus or, um, of our sector that have, cr that have no reason to a rank necessary for us to keep a tab on them. This is your mission, and yeah. I have a question. Yes? These devices want us to have our targets ingest or whatnot. Are these trackers of some kind? Yes. So could we not just track some members of the rogue trader crew the issue is that rogue traders mm, most of them are fleets so it's also part of, the, part of the problem also is that she may not bring certain members of her group if she goes into illicit activities yes and often rogue traders will use agents instead of themselves but since she's there it's the the safest bet to get any valuable information, as they are not only trackers, they do other things. Ah, uh, see then. Yes. Mm -hmm. And those are completely legal. <laughs> mm -hmm. Even if the Inquisition, I mean, technically I don't even have to say this, because we are the Inquisition, we are the law. Literally. This it proves nothing. Yes. Um, Gabriel's rubbing his forehead again. <laughs> what? What did you say? Gabriel's just, Gabriel, Gabriel's just rubbing his forehead right now. He feels a headache coming on. <laughs> and so. Turning Damon, shoot him! <laughs> <laughs> Is that just pitching up? <laughs> <laughs> panic, panic, pew pew pew. Um, I'm just excited to have a blink all more, really. Yeah. I'm doing fine. <laughs> so this is your mission. Any question, any other things? Uh, by the way, do all of you speak high gothic? I do. I do. Um, I think both no. sisters do. Okay. Yes. I don't. Yes, I do. I, I do not. <laughs> so Gabriel doesn't. Okay, so I guess, I mean, that's why we have him here. 
And also, no. I believe the sisters can speak in high gothic, I think. Yes. Yes. Well, what about the tech priest? Tech priest, I don't think he can. Uh, can you? Nope. I, this, this, no, I don't, the psychers won't either, yeah. Yeah, MCKs, MCKs can, so three out of six can. Right? But the tech priest is a nerd. Nerds are supposed to know things. Yeah, How but he's not, not part of yeah, but He doesn't Wait. care about talking to nobles. Yes. And that's why, as a tech priest, is not even expected to talk to uh, to, to nobleman. He will probably I'm not use. expected to talk. Yes. Like. <laughs> yeah, no, that's fair. So your your job will be primarily to be behind him, and to help him do tech stuff, like to, like grab his data slate, you know, as an assistant. And also as a bodyguard because you have a doggo. I have dog, yes. And the yeah. doggo shall. Oh. And the doggo shall be dripped oh, up no. as well. Or the drip. Okay. <laughs> I'll get some nice rooms. Yeah, and the doggo shall also get dripped up because he needs to be a luxury doggo now. We need to hide. We need to hide the mastiff <laughs> under a lot of a lot of gold. <laughs> mm. you could, I, I would love to. I'm also though a military noble. Yes, that's true. Him having so it would make dog. sense. Yeah, yeah. that totally it would make sense to have militant. Yes, things. Yes. The most surprising thing would be the, ba the the sister of battle. But, eh, I guess because one of the things is that... Oh, yeah. Well, we can always picture, dress yeah. her in my house livery and pretend she's a god. Yes. Until needed to do otherwise. Yes, that's pretty much the plan. The thing is that um, she, if she's dressed as a bodyguard, a uh, luxury bodyguard, by the way, <laughs> what, a, what a fancy lady, what a big fucking gun. Um, <laughs> even the god is the gun is gold. Wow. Um, gold is gold. God, golden is. gun. <laughs> um, so, yeah. So you shall be pretty much redressed as a, a bodyguard and medical expert. Uh, any s overt sign of sorority of being a nun or sister shall be removed. Uh, because we don't want them to suspect anything. And battle sisters are very on the nose. They are very, very obvious about what they do. Very, very, very obvious. For example, yep. in a future mission, maybe, uh, uh, guardsmen and others may ask you to pray for them and to pray with them. As you are a nun, part of your job. Wow, saving the souls of people and shooting heretics. Wow, oh, great. Um. And so, yeah, that's pretty much it. So now, uh, theater of the imagination, imagination, because I don't have a, I, I don't have a battle map for the ships. Uh, <laughs> it's more difficult than you think. Um, mm -hmm. So pretty much uh, imagine you are in the shuttle, the shuttle and you pretty much are on the way already. It's the night before the mission. You have not pretty much you have been given like uh, straight up there. Like, there is no time in between. Mm. You pretty much jumped into the ship leading you there, so... And it was like, time for you to think about stuff, ooh. And not not really saying that, that even but like, May the God Emperor be with you, may the Omnissiah guide your steps, and the Emperor bless your mission. Um, do your mission, do it well, for the pride of the Inquisition, and for the sake of humanity. And you do the symbol of the Inquila and the uh, the uh, Omnissiah. And uh, you are in your ship now. <laughs> good, good chance. <laughs> good luck. Eh. <laughs> so um, now you're on the way for Malfi. So it's time. And you all have been already dressed up and shit. You never... I mean, he, he said uh, like it was a choice. It was not a choice. You would be dripped up. Um, okay. And so time for you to talk to each other. To plan out stuff. And uh, he also showed you, tried to show you the plan of the palace complex. But honestly, it's, it's huge. It's too huge. There is a lot of shit. Like there is rooms within the rooms within the rooms. As one of the tradition of the uh, governor's palace is that every governor had a new room to the palace mm. complex. There was a lot of them, thousands of years. So imagine how many rooms are there. No one can really do it. And the plan is no longer updated because people have given up. So yeah, so what what do we talk to each other? Ooh, time to plan. Eh, hey, let's go. Roleplay time. <laughs> uh, 
I want you all to be aware I was following very little of what the Inquisitor was saying. <gasps> Would I... you like me to repeat the briefing? I understand the gist of what we... Just let me know what you need to be specific. You are going to carry my bags, and hopefully, no one will notice you. Uh, what exactly um, does your mind thingies do? I am capable of limited healing capabilities, and I can also conjure a ball of force to... Well, I get that people. Anything that helps with the sneaky sneakiness? I spent 17 years with the Astra Militara. My powers are more focused on combat and support of that nature than investigative. Alright, you're going to be carrying bags. <laughs> <laughs> Turn to the other psyche. And what does your mind sparkies do? I, uh... I, I tend to not miss when I shoot my gun, and... I can turn off all the machines. That could be helpful. Hmm. Please all, try I, not I mean, to... <laughs> I mean all of the machines. And she kind of, like, pointedly looks over <laughs> at the tech priest. Please try not to kill our... Uh, humble servant of the Omnissiah. That would my be most, um... Uh, unfortunate. I moved my dog away. <laughs> so they're going into a corner now. Okay, B1, it's cool okay. Gelding. All leads to me. Carry this mm. man's back. Well, is... not missing will be good if we need to use the ring. Mm -hmm. Method. How actually that's a good question mechanically as well. How stealthily can the power to be used? Like is that how obvious of a visual effect is there outside of perils of the warp? I know if perils of the warp happens, um, we're shit out of luck, but the force powers are pretty obvious because it's supposed to be like phys a physical wave. Mm. So I think the projectile is actually seen. Right. Uh, the healing is also obvious mm -hmm. because the the process is not nice. Right. Um, the turning off of the machine, I would allow. I would allow if you try really hard to do it stealthily. I would allow it to happen if she has assistance from from you. All. Like hmm. if you can pretty much cover up for her, like trying like obviously focusing on her power, like pretty much like shielding her from like the eyes of others, you know, sneakily, then she can do it. She can do it stealthily. That's my rule of thumb on that. Oh, okay. There, if there's, they, they said in the list that there's another psyker. If they're paying attention, they're going to notice if we do anything. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, they usually do. Yes. But the same thing is reversed the other way. You'll usually notice when they're doing things as well. Yes. Y yeah, yeah. Okay. Mm. Well, if we have to, if we have to just go for the, the long shot. We have we have one ring for each target, yes, or is um, it? You have each of you as getting both a ring and one uh, uh, okay. and, and one of you as the uh, bottle of quote unquote pills. Okay, got it, got it. Um, know that the pills, uh, I forgot to say it, but one one once they're put into liquid, actually they refract the light and the liquid, so they are effectively invisible. Mm -hmm. Once put in the liquid. To you, as a tech priest, this is fucking awesome and also fucking scary. Yeah, that is kind of weird. I, I don't, I don't know, I don't know how I feel about that. But nothing to see here. I'm just a legit I... guy. Wow, what a great <laughs> guy I am. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, for the moment, I think the hospitaler should carry the fancy pills. Yes. Yes. Seems wise. That that seems intelligent. I have. A certain disposition with poison. Uh, so, yeah. Poison? Oh, yes. 
Beautiful. Um, moving on. <laughs> well, in terms of getting mm. close, uh, so basically the plan is either to spike the drink. Mm -hmm. I mean, in terms of spiking the drink, we wouldn't be able to get anybody into the wait staff. God damn, we are not the kind of party for this. What are you talking for that about? Kind of thing. Like, well, we don't have anybody who's good at two of our targets are female. Okay, this is going to be easy. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like something uh, that no one should say. We're going to a party, not some. Oh yes. I'm the next. Guys, I'm an excellent singer. I can distract people. Yeah, see, that. there we go. Yeah. There you go. Oh, there are many you... ways in which to uh, touch someone's food or drink without a, a, a visible eye. I, no. I want you to understand something. I have not been to a party in 19 years. You are carrying the bags! <laughs> My yeah, children. my bag's good, sir. <laughs> I haven't ever gone to a party. I'm going back to the sewage. This party? is going to be, Ooh. um... I like it's always like hey. that. Okay, so continue on and agree to mute myself to thank someone on stream. This is going to be uh, quite thank a, you, um, uh, Thank you, uh, Nero. Uh, Nero! Uh, thank you, Nero, for the... Have so you ever been happy? Thank you, Nero, for the. Um... <laughs> Not in a very <laughs> Thank you, Thank you Nero, for the raid. The happy, happy feeling is. We are going to a place that enlists the happy. <laughs> Thirty-six. Can we make them wear a mask? We might. Yes, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> by the way. Safer. Here you go. You get the frowny okay. mask, I give a frowny uh, mask to Gabriel, and you okay. get the smiley mask! <laughs> <laughs> uh, by the way... He kind of like looks at it in a bewildered I... fashion and puts it on. By... I as a player am trying very hard to not laugh right now. I used to wait, this is... This is this Your is... fucking uh... voice for this guy, holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> By the way, this is the part of Malfi. You are expected to wear masks, and the masks shall be given to you when you arrive. Oh, it's oh, these, are them. these are servants. Uh, they get servant masks. Oh. They never take them off. Ever. <laughs> There's fact, also a board gag in there. <laughs> they never take them make, off. Can you make my motions? Uh, can I make what? Why waves arms? There we go. She's learning. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to beat this. <laughs> All right, we've got man. this. <laughs> we have got high. this in the bag. <laughs> oh, in Dude, the bags. All right, um, <laughs> my most esteemed sisters. Uh, hmm. Have any of you ever uh, fought campaigns alongside the guard? Alongside the army. No. He never fought functions with the Astro military. Okay. Um, what do sisters do after they win a battle? They pray. <laughs> <laughs> I flagellate. <laughs> they go to mass. Yes. <laughs> That's this what I hear. Going, this is going to be one of the Actually, weird Actually, I parties. need to flagellate soon because <laughs> it's going to be bad if I don't. Oh. Yes. She, start, she starts shivering like, I need to. Are you saying <laughs> is this the same character? Yeah, she, no, no. She, she literally <laughs> has a flail in her yes. equipment for oh, slave flagellation. It's Arena, it is Welcome to the ritual. church. Yeah. <laughs> Please proceed. <laughs> Sister, please um, proceed. <laughs> look, we'll just have you as a bodyguard. Look dour a lot. There we go. Try not to to speak too much when spoken to. In she fact, already, actually, all of you, no she speaking. Already, <laughs> she already does. <laughs> <laughs> 
In <laughs> fact, none of you, none of you say things. If somebody, if somebody says something to you, pointedly ignore them. <laughs> Why do you think you're here, boy? <laughs> yeah, that's I'm a roll going, to talk. Like I'm going to die. <laughs> your speaky man. Use your speakiness. <laughs> uh. I'm a walking encyclopedia, not a sneak thief. <laughs> you're you're in the nobility. Yeah. You need to be bombastic. That's the point. <laughs> uh, is it not bombastic enough for you? It's so a good More thing I have fellowship. <laughs> uh, GM, yes. with uh, Kim use, can I investigate what the pills are? You can try. Okay. Uh -oh. All does. For, first, che first check of the game, people. Check, let's do it. Uh, let me look at your character sheet. Yep. Make sure to watch Don't fuck it up. There's a ghost at the tone for the entire campaign, dude. No pressure. Yeah, make it. Oh. The scary dude is gonna kill you! I get, I get uh, what do you <laughs> have? What do you have? You have Medicare. Oh, so I would say either yeah, take, use, use. take use of Medicare. Uh, chem use, I guess. Because chem use lets me uh, yeah. ad identify a variety of chemicals. I'm going to say this, but those are not chemicals. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, it's a mechanical pill. No, oh. they're like, completely legal. What do you mean? The Inquisition never yeah. dies. Okay, can I see how many pills we have? Um, you have um, amongst the um, in the box, like in the little uh, pill bottle, you have six, and in the um, and you have six more in your uh, um, forgot the name rings. Okay. So e. So we have four targets and twelve chances. Oh yeah, yes. do the math right. <laughs> uh, whatever. You have That's a lot of. Generous. I mean, That's this great. is. Great. No, I'm. I'm taking this. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He, he has been. He has been very generous about this because this is. It's almost like. You know when he said he we need to feel, know. We're all gonna die. No, it's like you. We need to know. We better know. Let us know. Do it. <laughs> it's like shit is going badly over here. We need information. You are getting it. Good luck. <laughs> so you can try to use, um, yeah, try to use game use, I guess. Game use or Medicaid. I would say Medicaid mostly. Okay. What do I roll? Uh, I guess if you need to click on the 37. You can click. Oh. Click the 37 in front of Medicaid in advanced skill. Uh, I guess. And uh, it says modifier. So your modifier is the tens place. Uh, like it's I just intelligence. randomly did that trade copy us. So it's a three. Which, no, yeah, no, no, no. You don't need to. No need to. It's already in there. So zero. Okay. No, I didn't. It doesn't look like it actually is already in what? there. See, if you look at my trade copy, oh, yeah, it is. What? That's, that's weird. Modifier for target. So need no, that's weird because 40. it is. It is in there for psychic powers, but not in skills. Oh, yeah. that's weird. So you have to put in your modifier of three. So you have... Okay, so it's plus three. What that did you roll? That's still a fail. That's still a fail it's by three degrees. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's so... A, that's, a, that's a fail of three degrees. Ah. So you try to pick one up. You try to pick one up. You look at it. And you, you try to like put it under like your, your Omni tool. Try to zoom at it. Try to look at anything that is uh, associated with it. And you realize that... Yeah, you, you have no idea. Like, it's mm -hmm. literally, like, it seems to be, like, very fine machinery on a scale so small that you can't even... I, you never saw this. Like, this is weird. And mm. so, I guess, since it's technology, you may ask, technology man. <laughs> Do you... Wait, first of all, what is your name? I am unit G1X slash K7Y. Okay. That's a lot of letters. Can we call you G1? It is only eight letters. <laughs> you, uh, wait, G1X... Seven. Have you served <laughs> as an attache to a Militarum regiment? No. I worked with the Arbites on a space station. 
All right. Did the Arbides give you a nick? Yes. The unit. <laughs> no. It's unit G one eggs. I'm just very common. Uh, basically, I had my my last uh, re tech priest refused to let anybody call her by a nickname, as they kept calling her by a nickname. Which, to be fair, her unit number was set up entirely to be a nickname. Five oh. Alpha One One Yankee. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. Uh, can G1. we call you Gigi? Gigi is accepted. <laughs> All right. Gigi. There's a sudden voice from the void every time you say his name. Gigi. 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 <laughs> so, Gigi, do you wanna take a look at one of these? Pills? Do you think that'd be wise? What if no. we break it? I'd rather know what we're working with. Well, I'd rather uh, not. That's not really a really good idea, idea sister. Is there no questions? Fine. Actually, I'd rather... Okay. The, the Inquisition tends to watch you. Period. It says so up here in, in page 45, the Imperial Infantryman's Uplifting Primer. Very good book, I might add. Yeah, actually, I am hesitant to attempt to look at it too closely. Uh, okay. Mostly because I, I'm not skilled in that particular arena. I okay. know very little about Xenotech or Archeotech. Okay. Yeah. No problem. And I'm worried about breaking it, but frankly. The Inquisition wouldn't use Xenotech, right? Yes, of course not. That's bad. Definitely That's naughty not. stuff. No. Okay. <laughs> Shifty eyes. I won't. He doesn't do <laughs> eyes, he removes them. <laughs> I mean, Zeno stuff, no. The other one, maybe. Archaeotech, though, they would. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Who knows? Because Archaeotech's old, old Earth stuff. That's fine to play with. It's, it's full blown quality. It's human qualitat. Fine. Question. In quotes. It's fine. <laughs> It's totally fine. It's just unbelievably, unbelievably weird technology that no one has seen in millennia. By the way, I have no firearms. So <laughs> let's not get into any shootouts, shall we? They said the party was no weapons. Uh, only oh, hand no, weapons. No. My oh, weapons no. are right because it's a officer's blade. It's the only one I own. It's this really pretty sword. <laughs> is it functional? Or yes, is it just it's mono -bladed. Oh no, it'll cut straight through steel. Okay, at least it's not solid gold. Oh no, that's the hilt. <laughs> <laughs> there, is even a, there is even a gem looks like the... the chin gold of my great-grandfather. I'm number one. Silver's for number two. That's you. <laughs> Gabriel is having PTSD flashbacks to all the time. <laughs> Nobles have been on the battlefield. <laughs> you f you feel a nose nausea behind you. Do your job. Our, <laughs> our entire regiment is nobles. <laughs> We're well, basically of Austrian firstborn. <laughs> Without the first ball. <laughs> and with less Russia. Yeah, <laughs> much. More England, less Russia. You would like some more Jeez than Iron Guard. <laughs> Tiny ho! Alright, so who, who in the party said they didn't have a weapon? I don't have a gun. You need a sword. Other than that, we're good. Do you need a gun? No, I can't shoot it. No idea how. <laughs> I have a pistol. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you not know how she... Oh, because I'm very good at stabbing things. Uh -huh. stab. I can cut the head off how... of a charging grok. Even I know So... So, yeah. <laughs> but you're a psycho. You're more disposable. He's a noble man. No offense, of course, my good sir. <laughs> Deep fucking in hell. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> so, so do, uh, do you have an extra plan? Gen with a hand on my gun. I, I'm yeah. now sad I didn't take different powers because I can't fuck with this guy with them. <laughs> <laughs> Why ask us? I want to make a joke. <laughs> no, the warp! <laughs> uh, <laughs> That's why you always ask before you start to disrespect people. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm gonna stand right next to him every time I use a psychic power. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> why? Why are the psychics cornering me? Revenge planning. <laughs> <laughs> All <Wait>. right. <clears throat> so we're going to have to give you guys a little induction into my uh, family, since you're going to all be being um, mm -hmm. servants and/or bodyguards. Uh, I am Joseph Miriam Edgar, the twenty-fourth. Member of the cadet branch, Edgar, of House Miriam. Basically, we're an old military family that took over a great uh, great swath of the sector during the early days of the Imperium and have held it, oh, indefinitely against pirates, Eldar raiders, and the occasional chaos charge. Uh, I've seen many, we've seen many a battle. Uh, and we are a highly militant order of families. Uh, so, truth be told, you being dour military sort actually isn't out of commonplace. Mm -hmm. So, uh, we're good for that. Um, as to the sisters, mostly you could pretend to be mercenaries and not know much about the actual family. Just... <laughs> You know, stare at people when they ask you questions until they feel that they are better than you and leave. Because and that's good. Truth, I'm excellent at that. Yeah, because I guess in truth they are. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tech priests yes. do what tech priests do, my good sir. <laughs> mm -hmm. It has to our psycho friends. No one's going to talk to you because you're servants. So you're good! <laughs> Which one of us is supposed to be the out loud psyker? Oh, uh, well, Gabriel scares everybody when he opens his mouth. So I think you will be. Oh. Okay. Goody. Don't worry, the moment they hear you're a psyker, uh, they'll try to pointedly ignore you. Okay. I didn't realize that I have a Fuji on. In truth, <laughs> they'll be staring at you every second, hoping that you'll turn into some sort of demon and devour half the family in a gory display of violence, of which they haven't seen for years. They do hate uh, each other. But other than that, they'll <laughs> pointedly ignore you. <laughs> Joey, could you do me a favor and not yes. joke about demonic possession? Oh, my good sir, welcome to being on Death Edge. I'm going to joke about suicide, murder, and explosions at any moment. Because, really, my good sir, it's probably going to happen. <laughs> you can joke about all of that just fine. But please do not joke about demonic possession. Uh, according to uh, chances, there's only, um... Let's see, what, what, what's the current chance of... Your head exploding into a. <laughs> we should be fine. <laughs> Does anybody have any um, thoughts or questions about our current um, predicaments? Honestly, what we need more intelligence. if we don't do this job Power the way the Inquisitor it. wants? I have a lot of questions about my current predicament, none that you can answer. Thinking more like a, a group think tank session. Yes. <laughs> okay. I think what we need to do is prioritize which targets we're going after in what order. Oh, well, for that, we need to find out what are our chances of reaching each target. 
we can't really do that until we've hit landfall. Okay, so running down the list of people. Lobo. Yeah. Lobo Smith. is a drinker, right? Like, oh, who drinks? Which of these people drink? We know that uh, Lobo drinks. Uh, of course, the rogue trader will. Maybe not as vivaciously. Um, Miranda is an ecclesiarch, and so probably drinks. And then we know that the navigators, they don't tend to eat or drink in company. Mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we can probably, the first two we might be able to schmooze up to. Miranda, a little bit less so. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. so. Maybe, maybe we can organize a party. Uh, no, that's True, everything. she does do charitable events. She does. Yes, they also know that you can. Uh, there is also the posi there is also an option for the sisters to attempt to cosplay as Sister Fabulous, which are diplomats and sisters. Oh. Hmm. Or just regular sisters. No, because they would be too dour. <laughs> right, right. The Famulas are the ones who actually like. A diplomatic and shut. The, the familiars go to parties. Yes, yeah. they do oh, diplomatic yeah, the things. Familiars deals with the noble houses. But yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, that's why uh, Sister Familia Santia is there, actually. Yes, we might be able to use Xanthia. If need be, we might be able to use Xanthia to get to Miranda. Yes. Because the thing is that uh, Miranda is uh, actually a noble born. She's not a part of the. She's a noble bond that is strongly supporting the ecclesiarchy, but not a true member of it. So she's mm, weird. <laughs> she's weird. <laughs> <laughs> okay. A charity event or possible Xanthia connection. Note that you can also ask for them to hold your hands in prayer. Oh shit, that's a good idea. Give them the old mm. buzzer. The, because the as, buzzer. Because as sisters, you wouldn't know that. Oh, wait. That's the other thing I meant to ask, actually. How obvious would it be if they, when they get stuck with the needle? Would they feel it? Uh, there would be a chance for them to feel it, but it's very low. Okay. Yeah, they'd okay. probably roll an awareness or something. There's a hey. chance that during a dance, I might be able to... Uh, there will be dances. Take Lady Adaria Vel, the rogue traitor lady, with a yeah. needle during a dance. Okay. Actually, I'm going to give you, like... Um... Okay, I'm going to give you the main events that have been publicized. Ooh, yes, so, yes. because he would tell you this. I was just caught up in my own shit. Uh... <laughs> That's part of the briefing. It's fine. So, um, in the briefing, pretty much you have been probably through him. He pretty much like, gives you like almost like a program of the night. Very fancy paper. Very fancy paper. Literally, there's literally like platinum and gold um, that has been agraphed in, in the paper. You know, they actually used pulped wood? Crazy. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. The, the, honestly, it's like, it's not even synthetic. It's, it's they didn't real. use the flesh of children? Yo, wow. this <laughs> is a ritzy party, man. I mean, they are the governor of the sec uh, they are the family of the governor of the second most wealthy planet in the sector. Mm -hmm. So that's unbelievable. Even for you, Joseph, that's unbelievable level of wealth. Yeah. Um, as I no, say, the it, palace... It's a lot more wealth than my family has. The palace is ginormous. Like it's literally like you would say, of all the higher quarters of Malphi, the palace is probably short to a quarter of it itself. Uh, just their palace for one family, there are dozens of families. So talk about the statement. Um, um, the events are one will be a theater performance. Uh, there are actually, there would be one or two banquets a day. Oh. Okay. Uh, there is also a visit at the Alboratum, which is pretty much a, a garden. Uh, when you can actually touch the plants, stuff like that, because anything alive in the Empire is rare. Like animals... At least, uh, depending on high worlds. Yes. Mm. 
But, uh, no, like, this is one, yeah. Uh, yeah, on Hive Worlds, on Manufactorum, which is what it is, on planets with a very high population, pretty much have been entirely turned, or almost entirely turned into factories and hive, and pretty much like housing and stuff like that. There is not much dirt left. Um, so anything that is like pretty flowers, um, uh, just anything that is pretty and natural is pretty much like luxury plus plus. Mm -hmm. Like living animals, rare exotic animals, even more. Those are like statements among statements of wealth. Mm -hmm. It's like being a Qatari prince and having a jaguar as a pet. But 10 times that. Or 100 times that, technically. Uh, mm -hmm. So, visiting an arboretum in itself, which is not a garden, is, is hydroponics. But what they advertise is it's real dirt. Real dirt. And it probably is brought in from some other planet. <laughs> yes, but it's still real. <laughs> The, the, the yes. dirt is real. <laughs> and, and so, yeah. So, there's a visit to the laboratory. There is, um, there is actually a, a car ride. Like, a, you know, like an, amus an amusement park? Mm -hmm. Just to enter the manor. Stop, stop attacking me. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking gremlin. <laughs> and, um... And so you actually have to go like on a car ride, you know, like uh, the uh, attraction in the, in uh, in uh, like in Disneyland, the roller coasters. Yes. You actually Monorail. enter the palace through a roller coaster. Monorail. It's basically That's like Monorail. Jurassic Park. Yes, and see the, Diplo the Diplosaurus. <laughs> it was my dream. I'm <laughs> trapped in amber. Okay, we need to stop. Um, and so they, they, that as an as an option. Because, of course, we all being carts. The carts may be... Some of them are pre-selected. You could be all together in one. Or you could be split. Because you have to remember, your contact... Stop it. Uh, that dude is, your, is one of the... What? what uh, come back. That dude is yeah. one of the organizers. So he can, you know, trifle yeah. with the stuff. Head hair Gladys. A kid, Glidus, yes. A Kedar Glidus, noble scion, 32nd son of the family of the matriarch. Um, so yeah, so he can. So if you want to be dispatched in different uh, car rides, you can, and maybe because it's very close quarters, you could get an opportunity to inject. Of course, in the banquets, a lot of the plates that also, also, fresh food of real animals. Nice. Some of them are weird. Like, void lamprey uh, on the side is weird. A lot of the, a lot of the food is not to taste good, is to look good and show that they can actually buy it. For the gram. It's all about showing off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. So it actually like may get you sick sometimes. Crab head. Um, it's like uh, it's like uh, uh, what was the stuff that I read? Like three-headed serpent of the Xeno planet X32, braised on the side with curry <laughs> and the mystery sauce made of real mm. things. <laughs> mystery sauce, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> And so, you know, it's about showing off, and in that occasion, some of the plates are so fancy that they do it medieval style. What does that mean? Is that they don't eat the full plate. Plates go around and people pick in it. Right. With their hands, because aristocrats. Mm -hmm. um, and so you could have an occasion like, to grab something and maybe to inject in the food, but that's a more risky fashion. Yeah. We also have a trap. How do you good at flirting? And there also there will be also dances. There will be there are dances. They also have probably a few duels because they are bound to happen. That's pretty much why there is like free spaces between events, because nobles be nobles and nobles no love to fucking duel. Yes, I if, if need be we can always um. I could always try to insult uh, Lobio, blah, 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 
and do a duel first blood. And, and then may... sucker punch him with the ring. Oh, no, I, I oh, was you may... we oh. could sucker punch him with the ring or have the Medicaid, um, mm -hmm. our, our, our lovely little hospitaler, treat his wounds afterwards as a show of good faith that the duel fixed said injury. Yes. It is an option. I also but, have what, uh, I but think... what if he beats you and doesn't get injured? Mm -hmm. You're very funny, my good sir. Yes. Uh, <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to do all of this moment? Get him a saber. <laughs> you don't need don't. your hand, correct? He's going to pull back no, the right don't. side of his robe to reveal <laughs> a sword he has a tip. No, you don't. Don't no fighty. You have a mission. <laughs> you, don't, you don't need your, your hand for doing any of your uh, mind bullets, right? <laughs> you don't. You don't. Like you don't want to find out. You don't want me to go into fight mode. Oh, you're not here to it. Go away. <laughs> I'm in your mind. <laughs> I'm always here, whispering. He's <laughs> actually, actually just secretly been on the screen in the back of the ship. We've all just been collectively ignoring him this entire time. <laughs> yes. He, he, he muted himself on his end and still hasn't realized it. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I can't do silly shit. Uh, yes, great Mute plan, everyone. Great news, everyone. <laughs> <You're going> to... <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, he has been no removed to Professor Farnsworth. Uh, <laughs> I want. I hate this world. I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Just Professor Farnsworth when no one's looking. <laughs> you literally, literally like look in the other direction like I hate my job. <laughs> so many innocents. That would I'm never be spared. So many idiots, but, you know. They don't know the glory of my technology. So many poles. The food <laughs> The food injection plan might work if they are directly next to the dish passed around. Yes. Or if or if someone's doing a flirt and like, ooh, you should try some of this. Yeah, That's... speaking of which, mm -hmm. I have a whole bit of what the low Gothic referred to as a uh, riz. Ooh. If you know what I mean. No, I don't know what you or mean. Joking. What's a riz? I'm, I'm very funny. Yes. Oh. Mm, I'm really good at that. Yes, riz. Good. We need more people with that. Good. I'm literally I am more flirting. I am literally incapable of this. Yeah, no, Two but, sides as, are like, as, nope. As, as he says that, Beep. he holds his hand up Beep. and you see a ring on his finger. The big which boop, I don't, I don't flirt. Probably, but the other side recognizes it. Yeah. Are you, you're married? Is that, is that what that is? In a manner. Congratulations. Yes. Congratulations, I'm sure your bride is very, um... He took my ball sack happy. away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I know. My father always used to complain that she ha that uh, my mother had his balls in a purse as well. <laughs> oh, that's a great understatement. <laughs> Oh yeah, before, because um, to anyone in the chat, both of the um, psychers, uh, they are wed to the Emperor, literally. And he has a cost. The cost is... Uh, genitals. Cam gelding. <laughs> genitals. <laughs> the Alan Turing special. Yep. <laughs> so, so let's say they have less of a slaneshi temptation upon them because they, they literally don't feel it. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, so that's your plan. <laughs> you fucker. It's just a matter of if we're in you the right such a <laughs> I want. <laughs> <laughs> you absolute fucker. You startled me. Good, 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 good fuck. Uh, minus 10. <laughs> 
Uh, I do love this song though. I have a question about Noble Dueling, shall we? Alright, uh, yes. Yeah. Oh. That's my nickname for you. I am Joseph yes. and I am Edgar the I won't people. give in, I won't give in. You may call me, um, Edgar. So as I was saying, Eddie, I do have a question oh. about Noble Dueling. Yes, and what is your question? Is hilt out? Is what? Striking your opponent with the hilt of the blade. Um, it depends on the manner of the duel. There's it's usually, see, uh, usually the uh, person that's been insulted, you know, someone calls for a duel, and then the answering person usually then tells, you know, whether it's by blade or by to the first blood or you know what have you so it depends entirely upon which rules of the duel that they call for some well, it's seen as uh unhonorific and some it's seen as you know part of the duel so really it depends on which rules they call well as a precaution you could see about having GG install the ring to the hilt of your blade. That would be um, difficult to to aim. Not only would that yeah. be difficult, yeah. As well as that's um like I said, it's it's very rare that such duels would be called where I would be allowed to use the uh, hilt. I'd have to really insult someone that they go to the death. Oh and um if I remember uh. right, we're told not to go for the death thing. Yeah, we need him alive. Also, there's also the chance to have a duel of a, with the dueling pistols. Yeah, right. then they'll just shoot. We'll just shoot one another, and well, that one I might lose. Ah, yeah, because you're bad at it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, true. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, so yeah. Um, what? What? Okay, let me think. Yeah, there's the theater one. Theater is also kind of good because you can be close to someone else with the seats. Yeah. Yep. Right, right. Throw it in their popcorn. Yeah, but there's also a chance of them being in one of the alcoves. Uh, but oh, yeah. because you are friend with friend allies of convenience with that guy. You, you could always try and sneak in their alcove with them. Mm -hmm. Yes. Nudge, nudge, know what I mean, know what I mean. Yes. Um, also, <laughs> also, there is another chance with the Battle Sisters would have no clue about it. Uh, no, they would, actually. Uh, depend on the ba background, a lot of the Battle Sisters are in there. Um, which is uh, um, the pill in the mouth and uh, roofie them with the pill. With the kissy. <laughs> That's true, yeah. You could do the kissy. Yeah, you could make out with them and shove a pill in their mouth. Yep. It's like, oh, you ate my cup. <laughs> it was my drugs. <laughs> Let's be real. That's. I mean, honestly, the rogue trader might go for it. You would be surprised. <laughs> I mean, the one with the least. I would not be surprised. The one with the least surprising there. would be her. But you don't need to peel her, so. Oh, you're right. Yeah, we don't. Whoa. And and she would be the one. No, she's not on the list to fill. What? She's not on the list to fill. Yes. Oh, she isn't. Oh my bad. No, she's not. But uh, oh, the, I the, was. the no, the no, rogue trader. trader is. Oh, no, that's me. That's me. No. The navigator is. Don't kiss me. I have a skull. In the noble. <laughs> <laughs> my face but is a skull. But the sister familialis is not. The um. Wait, the, tech, the tech priest is on the list. No. No, tech priest is a possible ally. Good, because I was yes. like, that guy would be really hard to get. <laughs> no, we, we were told to we were told to avoid using them at all costs, though, because Inquisitor doesn't want to owe a favor. Yes. Yeah. No. Yep. The thing is that you can, but uh, there is a chance that we, we ask can, him. Oh, hey, can we use you? We're members of the Inquisition. Because then they go, oh, cool. Can I call your Inquisitor for a favor? No. <laughs> and the thing instead is, it's, oh, <laughs> instead we're going to be using the excuse. Oh, the house Barium wants to use you as a favor. Yes. 
And so that that's what we're all it's pretending pre that House Merriam cares about this. Yeah, it's pretty much the highest thing you can bargain with. Because Inquisitors can literally do whatever they want. So please try not to tie my house into any weird shenanigans. And it may not look that it, but that 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 Inquisitor is scary. Like if you, like you will learn about this reputation later, or maybe during the event, part of it, if you actually reveal reveal uh, from whom you're working with, which is part of the bargain that you can try to uphold. And uh, when if you do it with uh, probably with her, which is the most likely one. She'll be like, oh, him, <laughs> you know, like that guy. Okay. Because <laughs> he's scary. He's far more scary than you think. That was, that was his, uh, hello, I'm a nice guy. I want you to work for me, please. Face. Not his, I'm going to murder everyone. <laughs> Face. Mm. Which I, I could like not do. Like most tech priests, he literally can change his face. <laughs> his face is a skull. Like, 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 like. <laughs> so yeah, so that's uh... It's about 10 o'clock. So is there any other questions? Concerns before we gather more, before we land and need to gather more information? Mm -hmm. No, I think that about covers it. Yep. I need to start okay. getting ready yep. for bed. Yeah, me too. Same. <laughs> because uh, I need to go uh, cut wood <laughs> tomorrow, yes. and uh, I would not. I want to pay attention to that because a big, a big tree in your face is not a good way to start the day. <laughs> no, <laughs> <one's just gone. laughs> that happened in Valheim to me once. It didn't end well. Uh, in real life, it's way <laughs> scarier. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah, sure. That's, that's yeah. Very when, painful in Valheim. You know, you you realize you realize that oh yeah, a ten meter tree is fucking scary. <laughs> mm -hmm. There we go. Three pages of notes is really good for a first session. Yeah, that was your debrief. So that was a lot of information. And next time okay, you get. Okay, so yeah. you're the note taker of the group then. <laughs> I tend to. Everyone else Thank is you. Uh, Thank you. You did is, is able to yes. as well. But I love to take notes. So Thank you. just. Yeah. Yeah. Just to keep in mind, next time you're gonna go on the on the uh, car ride on the. Uh, on the uh, roller coaster, <laughs> uh, because the roller coaster is about like to sh pretty much go around the palace and show you things and show you shit to be like, oh my holy shit, they are really rich. Look at all the richies things. Don't you feel inadequate? Yeah, we'll be pretty playing much. The Jurassic Park theme, or we'll be playing It's a Small World. Oh, I want to put I've, It's a Small World <laughs> now. I've done a Small World ride. <laughs> that I I hate that song internally. I know. I know. Do, do any of you know about the, the creepy pastas about the it's a small world? No. Oh, no, some... but I have ridden the ride and they're all true. <laughs> <laughs> that, I did well, it I'm once. Just saying, yeah. I, I'm just saying, if I ever got stuck in the back rooms and I came across that in there, I would not be surprised. It's like, do I have a gun to cap me? <laughs> like, I don't want to see those animatronics, please. <laughs> It's a world of no, 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 no. <laughs> so yeah, and I have to wake up in six hours. <laughs> yeah, it's good time. Good time to stop. Good time to stop. I do have a question. <laughs> yeah, what question? Uh, my character actually has to self-flagellate uh, flagellate everything. <laughs> so does yes. this count as a day? It, it, it's 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 background law, so you can do it whenever you can slash want. Okay. okay. In private. Okay. That in the middle of the fucking ship. Please tell me you did that before you got to the meeting. <laughs> no, no, people forget sometimes. Oh my God. No, my my non my non-existing balls are tingling. Oh my God. <laughs> 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 you know, you, you know it what? It has advantages, okay? <laughs> oh my god. It makes me it remind yeah, myself of what pain know. is. <laughs> this is great. This is gonna be a great campaign. You know, that's hey, that's hey, that. I, I need to do it for 20 minutes, by the way. Oh <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the ride, everyone else is sitting awkwardly in the corner. Like, <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> I imagine the tech priest is like trying to fid fiddling with something in the back. 
You're like, I'm not saying this. I'm not saying this. <laughs> Weird meat bags. The psycho is getting paler and pa like the psycho is getting paler and paler. Like, what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> oh, good. The nobleman is like, oh, what I have in my bag today? <laughs> <laughs> Just another beautiful day being a battle nun. <laughs> Swish! <laughs> Ooh, that's blood! Oh, Swish! It. <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> so, <laughs> no, that's, that's what I meant. The, the, um, the objective of tabletop RPG campaigns and stuff is for everyone to have fun. Yes. <laughs> So, I'm not going to be like, by the way, in the law, you have to do this now. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. If it's silly, if it's funny, it's good. Believe me, with Warhammer 40k, I don't have to force anything to be horrifying. <laughs> the horror is going to come by itself. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Raven? <laughs> what? What? <laughs> uh, what happened? Sorry? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, that's going to be it for tonight, I think. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. We're Out. ready to go. <laughs> that's perfect. Yeah. Dude, I, need, I need to add, like, a counter. Like, who deserves to die today? Me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, critical success? No. <laughs> I, I, not, I, I don't like that. So I won't do it because it's asshole -ish. Uh, fate shall not be trifled with. <laughs> Fantasia is over with a bottle of Chardonnay over the fire factory, yes, but not trifled with. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I, should, uh, yeah, this is a reference. <laughs> Helsing Ultimate Bruce, I fucking love that series. Yeah, this is great. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so thank you everyone for coming, deeply appreciated. Can we find... Oh my god, there's 15 people. Uh, I don't know because I don't <laughs> see the numbers, I don't care. <laughs> <So> <laughs> So I'm, the, the, the surprise was genuine. <laughs> oh, thank you for uh, f feeding uh, for thank feeding you. Bob. Mm -hmm. yep, thank you for running tonight. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Great fucking time. I'm looking forward to next week. <laughs> oh yeah, that's when shit is going to kick up. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, time to give uh, Joe. Yep. Time to give a heart attack to 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 a salad. <laughs> 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 Oh, She's too cozy time. over here. Neither do I want the contacts. You all have fun. <laughs> okay. It is day be cursed. Bye bye. As we are the one calling bye. the Kraken. Bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. Uh, okay. So time to uh, raid someone. Thank you everyone for coming. Deeply appreciated. Um, and we shall raid. Oh my god. Oh, yeah. Now it's starting to feel it. Yeah, it is indeed 4 a.m. Uh, <laughs> um, sparkly salad. I need to stop the music. Uh, I have to go back to just chatting. Time to. Okay, thank you for coming, deeply appreciated, and see you uh, next time. We're going to raid Sparkly Salad. She's doing embroidery. She's very nice. So say hello and uh, give her a heart attack for me. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone. Thank you very much for everyone that followed. Uh, thank you again, uh, Nero, for the raid. Uh, thank you, Rogi, Rogi Rat, for following. Thank you, the Dragon Flora, for following. Thank you, the mighty Elosan. Thank you, Goddess AI. All of you are lovely people. Thank you very much. And see you uh, tomorrow for Tabletop RPG updates. When I'm talking about the game I'm creating. So. Oh my god, it's five seconds of doing that. <laughs> And here we go! Bam! Uh, where's my...